Welcome to the Pontification Pals podcast. I'm Chase. And I'm Noah. And, and we're, we're the, the Pontification, Pontification Pals. Pals. We bring deep biblical pontifications to life with a lighthearted and fun twist with special guests each week. Real stories, real truths, real fun. Let's, Let's get, get to it. it. Bruh, did you look? <laughs> did I look? Yeah. Um... I did look over at yours to see the let's get to it, just to make sure it's like I was right. Episode 15, we, for the most part, did not look. Yeah. It I looked took... beforehand to you make didn't sure. Look. That, no. Yeah, I did. I did. <laughs> okay. Well, we pretty well got it down. Yeah. Man, 2023. 20, yeah. It's crazy. Can yeah. you believe everything we did was just last year? Really? Yeah. Isn't no, that something? Starting yeah. in like February. Wow. An idea was born. Was Nathan Colopy still here in yeah. person when that happened? No. No, he wasn't. No. Okay. No, Just he left memory. in December. Okay. 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 Yeah, and then in February, December of 21, mm-hmm. in February of 22, mm. the idea was born one night. And I remember texting you because you weren't here for Bible study. No. Yeah, no, I had some. I think else. you came late. Yeah, I did. And um, texted you. I'm like, hey, what do you think? I'm like, let's go for it. Here we are. Yeah, and then we all had Bible study one night, and then you brought up, like, yeah, I'm thinking of, like, wanting to do a podcast, and then I was like, well, I can do the editing and the videography and all that. And, then and the then words, Severn, Bailey, Severn was like, wished he right never decision. said. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I should have never said it. <laughs> it was no. actually Anna who brought it up because oh, yeah. I had talked about the pontificating, but Anna said something about, she came up with the name, I think, Pontification Palace. Oh, yeah. Yep. Wow. And then and Anna, like, you guys can do a podcast. I'm like, Severin worked on the artwork and all yeah. that. Mm-hmm. And then it was like... Nick with the jingle. One everything night. Everything born in up. one night. Yeah. yeah. Easy. So we see what, I what think college week, students can do when they put later, their mind together. we just started recording. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Did that first... Yeah, we did the promo and the mm-hmm. primary episode and and then just went from there. Mm-hmm. It's been good. Um, we got a little year in review here. I wanted to read a little bit from Psalm 145 before we yeah. do it. I've gotten to read this with a few people um, over kind of the end of December because I was just reading it as I was finishing that um, Songs of Jesus book devotional, and mm-hmm. Psalm 145 was a good one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah, we are technically better. <laughs> <laughs> All DSU grads alum. Yeah. yeah. Official podcast of DSU and West Center unofficially. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> and America. Yeah, Psalm 145, true. some of the verses here say, I thought this was a good reflective psalm. Yeah. says, and I read this, this mm-hmm. last Sunday, Call to Worship. Oh, yeah. Were you there? Yes. Yeah, okay. Psalm 145, I will extol you, my God and King, and bless your name forever and ever. Every day I will bless you and praise your name. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised, and his greatness is unsearchable. One generation shall commend your works to another and shall declare your mighty acts. On the glorious splendor of your majesty and on your wondrous works I will meditate. They shall speak of the might of your awesome deeds and I will declare your greatness. Verse 10, all your works shall give thanks to you, O Lord. All your saints shall bless you. They shall speak of the glory of your kingdom and tell of your power to make known to the children of man your mighty deeds and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. And then verse 17, the Lord is righteous in all his ways and kind in all his works. The Lord is near to all who call on him, to all who call on him in truth. He fulfills the desire of those who fear him. He hears their cry and saves them. The Lord preserves all who love him, but the wicked he will destroy. My mouth will speak the praise of the Lord and let all flesh bless his holy name forever and ever. So I thought that was a good psalm just to think about why we tell of, you know, what the Lord has done to encourage other people and to one generation to another, tell of his deeds. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. That's good stuff. Yeah. One year we had 14 episodes and a few special. Uh We had the Christmas, we had the Easter, and the season two promo thing. Party. Party. Promo. Start thing. Spectacular. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. (laughs) We created a music album. Mm -hmm. That was fun. Yeah. You didn't get to do much with that, but (laughs) Nick did a great job with that. Mm -hmm. Um, That was really fun. We have pens. We got hats. We have bookmarks. Mm -hmm. Stickers. Stickers right there. Yeah. I mean, that's crazy that you can do all that stuff. Isn't that cool? We got our goat fox on a pen. Yeah, the goat fox. Love Christ, love others, laugh lots. 
Watch out for that goat. Mm-hmm. He'll get you. He got gotcha. you. I love it. And um, you got any favorite moments from this first year of podcasting? For me, I think um, the favorite moments that I have are in actually getting to meet the new people. Mm. Because a lot of these people you've known for yeah. quite a long time. <laughs> um, but for me, it's just kind of getting to know them. And even for our guests today, getting to know way. them and, and understand their more about mm-hmm. their story. And so um, I think that's just kind of been something that I've cherished and enjoyed mm-hmm. about it is getting to actually see and meet these people and hear yeah. their stories in a different way, yeah. you know, than just maybe passing by on Sunday and not mm-hmm. really talking too much. But I think for me, that's kind of been the highlight of the past year Mm. and then also just getting to uh bring the word to people um and just kind of bring my own personal devotions and yeah stuff and share that with people whether it's good or bad i don't know but uh just continue to provide i guess encouragement and hope that way has been i don't think i've heard a negative thing from anybody yet so they've kept it to themselves and I've never heard anybody say we've spoken any blasphemy or heresy, so mm. that's always good. Yeah, that is good. You know? Mm-hmm. I think my favorite moment so far in the podcast was Bailey's episode, by far. Huh? What? He's lying. <laughs> Sorry, bro. What'd you say? <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have to repeat that. Uh, no, no, I can't say it again. Oh, okay. Uh, no, I'm going to get into mine a little bit after a little bit. But um, mm. give us some joy, my brother, while you tell us. Good catch. Your favorite. I don't want one. That's okay. Yeah. Well, honestly, yeah. I mean, I don't want to oh. say that the episode I was on was my favorite highlight. <laughs> I don't feel like that's okay if it was. Prideful. Um, <laughs> Besides no, that. I, I think, honestly, I really enjoyed um, Victor's episode. Mm, uh, I did too. Because yeah. I, I replaced Chase that week. Yeah. yeah. And Probably one of our better episodes. <laughs> <laughs> Skyrocketed. <laughs> I, I just uh, really appreciated um, getting to talk with Victor mm-hmm. in a more, I don't know, vulnerable setting. Yeah. Because uh, I haven't gotten to talk with him a ton. Me neither. Outside of church. And uh, sometimes I'd grab coffee with him. But I really enjoyed that, just getting to know him yep. a lot more and seeing his background, where he was coming from. So. Yeah, I agree. Um, okay, so... I got a few. I don't like to look at the numbers very often, but these were kind of interesting. Mm. Where do you think are out of the so take out YouTube, like just podcast services? Mm-hmm. Where do you think the number one city that our podcast was listened to is? Madison. No. Wow. That was number two. Really? Yeah. What Wait, was number Vegas, one? Vegas? Um, Rapid City. No, Dang. but you're getting closer, just <laughs> not location wise. In size of population. Sioux Falls. Yeah, Sioux Falls. <laughs> <laughs> and number three was Omaha. What? Number four was Wentworth, and number five was the bustling city of Ramona, South Dakota. Wow. I, I don't even know who lives in Ramona that would listen to us, but we were in seven countries. The U.S., we had 990 listens, but we had one listen each in Canada, Spain, the U.K., and no, Turkey. I, that's fake, dude. No way. <laughs> that's hey, what it says. I we're, mean, re- we're reaching worldwide. <laughs> dude, we are... That's almost on many different countries. I wonder if... Oh, our guest mother-in-law lives in Ramona. Oh, that's there you cool. Go. That's all of the listeners. I wonder if the like one of our more faithful listeners is in Turkey, right? If you are listening in Turkey, Spain, or Canada, or the UK, please let us know because we would love to email us. Yeah, something pontification pals. I did. At gmail. Oh, I got the com. website back up. So is it actually for real? <laughs> okay, thank goodness. <laughs> So go on the website and... Was it down for a long while? For like ever. Yeah, oh, it was sorry. down for maybe literally like, like month. six months. Oh. Uh, <laughs> and and boy, it, part, of it was, part of it was just we didn't realize it. It was just um, ignorance on our side. Yeah, show. and then another part of it was me trying to spend literally five hours trying to figure out why it wasn't working uh. just to figure out it was Chase's fault. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. It, it was entirely. <laughs> it was some uh, it was some techie thing, and then I ruined oh. everything I needed. Oh. But I got it back up last week. So. Oh, nice! I didn't even know. Sweet. Incredible. Hey, before I get to some surprises, can we quick do some uh, of our year in review? Uh huh. Some favorite things. We both got new jobs this year. Yeah. How's yours going? Very well. Good. Me too. That's good. Fifth grade. I'm enjoying yeah. it. That's good. 
Do you want to go first? Or you want me to? Um, and some just favorite you, memories you from this year. First. You okay. Can go first. Um, some of my favorite memories were the recent snow days and sledding oh. and stuff. It was really fun. Yeah, just a good break. Um, meeting my fifth graders for the first time was pretty fun. Um, and they were, for the most part, happy to meet me. And they are actually, for the most part, still happy. So mm-hmm. that's also good. Um, preaching in Springs, in Western Springs, that one Sunday was really fun. Mm. Um, mm-hmm. right, right actually the week after school started. So it was a pretty crazy week there. Um, you know how I like to combine and make like 15 things into a list of five. Yep. So I combined Super Summer Sunday Study, Book Study, and VBS <laughs> all into one. So... Church studies over the Incredible. summer. Incredible. Was really fun. Uh, Rise Fest the, in June for King and Country went and listened. That was really fun. Um, recording podcast episodes, and I really enjoyed uh, recording The Joy at the Foot of the Cross with Nick and with, you know, all those people, Dwayne and Trevor and Derek and all of them. It was really fun for mm-hmm. me. So that's kind of my 2022 recap favorite moments. What about you? Well, I quickly got four written down. That's like, good. Sorry, so I'll couldn't... try and come up with a fifth yeah, one. But uh, uh, It doesn't have to be five. And these aren't in any order. No, mine aren't either. But I did. Uh, going to T4G, oh, that conference. Yeah, and then that was during the Victor episode. Yeah, it was really fun. Mm-hmm. Uh, I also I put down the snow days because that was just the greatest thing to ever <laughs> happen. And you don't have to make them up again. No, like at we the end don't of have year, to like make I them do. up, so that's nice. Uh, and we, got, we watched a, a lot of Survivor mm-hmm. during those snow days. Um the third thing I put down was John Bunyan's prayer, like his uh, book on prayer. The one prayer. that you gave me f- that you can get online for five bucks, but at the church for seven. Yeah. <laughs> and so I did pay your debt, by the way, so our listeners know. His debt has been paid. Yep, it has and been. And he even gave me a little extra, so he's not a cheapskate. Yep. And so uh, I put that on my list because uh, I think as I move on and start reading other things, it's kind of stuck with me, some of the things mm. he's said and. Yeah, you shared some at Bible study. And it stuff. has um, kind of been pretty formative for me, at least in my prayer life, but also in how I view Christ and mm-hmm. uh, the grace of God revealed in him. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that that's just kind of been a book that I've held near and dear in my heart recently. Mm. Um, and then I put dog, as in we got oh, a dog. A this new addition year. to the family. A new addition to the family, who's not a human being. Yeah. <laughs> um, but... <laughs> At first, you know, it was difficult because our lives were changed, but now that everything's settling in, it's actually enjoyable having him around. Uh, sometimes it's not enjoyable still, but there's that's, times. those are moments when you just got to be patient. You gotta, there's a trial in every, yeah. everything. I mean, it's just been fun with yeah. hanging out with the dog and with Anna yeah. and all that. And, um, and I'd say f- the fifth thing for my year in review is probably just this past Christmas season, getting to spend time with both Anna's parents and her family and... Uh, with my family and mm. getting to to spend quality time with them and enjoy fellowship and um, that's some that's been my favorite part of Christmas since I can remember is just being yeah. able to spend time with my family and it's always a precious time of year for me mm-hmm. that I I really enjoy so that's really good yeah awesome um, okay I would like for you to pontificate oh, on Psalm three I didn't I think. realize we were there. Well, we, I'm switching around a little bit. Okay. <clears throat> ready to go? So this is, Chase is going to start writing a devotional that we'll sell in about 17 years yeah. when we get through all of the 150 <laughs> psalms. But we are through two, and we're now on to three. Yeah, I figured I'd just Keep stay it on theme. I like it. Um, but before I started, I kind of want to talk about why I'm kind of going through the psalms, mm-hmm. and because I think it would be helpful to know, but... Uh, the reason why I'm going through the Psalms is because I think they are unique in Scripture because mm-hmm. they really provide a window into the human experience. For any and every season of life. Yeah. Uh, there's emotions in there yep. that anyone can empathize with. Um, and not only that, but it shows you how certain people are responding um, in those situations when uh, they're faced with uh, betrayal or anxiety, um, and so it kind of helps us formulate in our minds whenever we're going through things um, what we should do, where should we go, and obviously most of the time it's running to God. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. But I, I've just found the Psalms to be very comforting, 
Um, not only in times of distress, but also mm-hmm. in times of joy. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of joyful psalms out there. Yeah. And um, so just going through them, and for me, a lot of it has been identifying what kind of emotions are attached to the psalm, what kind of situations are attached to the psalm, so that mm. if I'm experiencing something similar, I know where I can go to maybe receive help and guidance through a specific thing that I'm going through. Mm. And so that's kind of the the lens I was looking through with Psalm 3. Um, and so the emotions that I, I attach to Psalm 3 um, are like feelings of betrayal, mm. fear, um, and being scorned or mocked. Yeah. Um, and I'll kind of touch on those as I go through. Uh, but I can just read through Psalm 3 here. I'm, I'm reading from, from the King James. Yes. And the reason why I particularly like reading the Psalms in KJV sure. because they're just beautifully written, and I think mm-hmm. it adds another it's layer more, a of... A more poetry and yeah, flow yeah, and rhythm. More of a poetic nature yeah. to it, so there's a, a deep appreciation for it there. But um, So I'm going to start off with the, the first two verses, and this kind of outlines... Uh, David's problem in this psalm and where we kind of can derive these emotions. Mm -hmm. Um, But it says, It's a psalm of David when he fled from Absalom his son. Lord, how are they increased that trouble me? Many are they that rise up against me. Many there be which say of my soul, there is no help for him in God. So here we see, and thankfully the the psalm kind of tells us where David's at Mm -hmm. when he's penning this, is that his own son is kind of seeking him, not only to kill him, but to take his throne. Yeah. Um, and so that's where I attach the feeling of betrayal, having a loved one literally want to kill you and take what's yours. Um, so feeling betrayed. And then the fear that comes with being hunted, because there's kind of a coup that's been formed where mm-hmm. all these Israelites who were following David have now turned and started following his son and have wanted his son to take power and to dethrone and mm-hmm. kill David. Um, and then also being mocked, as we see in verse 2, it says, Many there be which say of my soul, there is no help for him in God. So they're telling David, like, why don't turn to your God, he can't help you. Uh, your God would never be able to help you, he's abandoned you. And they're following Absalom, trying to get him to power. And so David gives us a glimpse into his situation of being pursued by his son unto death and to lose his throne. And then also being mocked by people who are blaspheming by saying there's no help for him in God. God won't help him, even though he is God's chosen king that he's put on the throne. Mm. And so I I look at that and I think those are situations that we could easily find ourselves in. Not exactly this situation of we're kings and the the crown is being sought after by someone else, so they're trying to kill us and take our our throne. But just the fact of... uh, someone close to us betraying us, Hmm. um, someone close to us wanting to cause harm to us, or, uh, you know, fear, which is, I would say, one of the emotions that everyone in the world can probably most empathize with, and then also being mocked or witnessing God being mocked in front of us. And so that's kind of where we see David at Mm -hmm. right now in the beginning. And then, thankfully... uh, we see David's response to this this problem that he finds himself in. So I'll read through that on verses 3 and 4. It says, But thou, O Lord, art a shield for me, my glory and the lifter of my head. I cried unto the Lord with my voice, and he heard me out of his holy hill. I laid me... Oh, never mind, I'm going to stop there. (laughs) Uh, So we see David in this situation, and it's kind of hard to really put ourselves in that spot of... Mm -hmm okay, what would it be like to be King David being pursued and all of that? But he gives us a glimpse into the situation, and then he shows us his response. Um, And right away in verse 3, when he says, But thou, O Lord, art a shield for me, my glory and the lifter of my head, he goes immediately to remembrance. Mm -hmm. So he starts to remember these truths of God that he had stored up through the understanding and through reading the word. And truths, remembrances of how God has protected him in the past. Mm-hmm. Yep, and so... A year in review, perhaps. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> and so he, he remembers that, he remembers God being a shield. <coughs> he says, God is a shield about mm-hmm. me, uh, which says that God is going to protect him and he will defend him. Uh, and he said, God is his glory. Mm-hmm. He remembers God is his glory, uh, which, according to John Calvin... 
It says that God would be the maintainer and defender of the royal dignity, which he had been pleased to confer upon David. Mm. Um, and there's a few different ways you can interpret that. Sure. That's just one that I found that I, I thought was pretty uh, feasible. Mm-hmm. And then God being the lifter of David's head denotes that he can hope in God because God mm-hmm. will lift his head and provide him with joy. Um, and so we see that David turns to these specific things that he knows about God when he's faced with the betrayal of his son, the fear of dying, and being mocked for uh, following the God that he follows. And so we continue on in verse 4, and we see after remembrance that David cries to God in prayer. Mm -hmm. It says, I cried unto the Lord with my voice, and he heard me out of his holy hill. And so not only does David pray, But he also kind of prays with assurance because it says the Lord heard him out of his holy hill. Um, So God, in fact, hears our prayers when we go to him, and David knows that. And so David's response to these uh, problems that he is is to remember what he had heard about God in his word, who God is, his character, and then to go to God in prayer. And it says David cried to the Lord, and so he was probably like pouring out his soul to the Lord, like raw emotion, Mm -hmm. and the Lord was there to hear him. Mm. And so, after remembering and after praying, we get to the blessing that comes from remembering and praying um, in verses 5 and 6, which I'll read right now. I guess till the end of the psalm. I I have a lot of typos here. It's okay. (laughs) You're doing... Fantastic. Okay. So, verses 5 through 8, actually. It says, I laid me down and slept... I awaked, for the Lord sustained me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that have set themselves against me round about. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God. For thou hast smitten all mine enemies upon the cheek, and thou hast broken the teeth of the ungodly. Salvation belongs unto the Lord. Thy blessing is upon thy people. So, in verses 5 and 6, we kind of see a direct correlation between David's remembrance and his prayer. Mm. He's able to sleep mm-hmm. through the whole night and then wake up again. That's crazy. And so if you're being <laughs> if you know people are trying to come after you and kill you, it would be pretty hard to sleep. Yeah. Yet the assurance that God gives him because he is his shield, he is the lifter of his head, he is his glory allows David in this moment of great fear to actually sleep. Mm. And not only that, he's able to awake from his sleep because the Lord is the one who's sustaining him. He Mm. carried him through the night. Mm. And that's how it is with all of us. We're not promised tomorrow. And so I think in the morning when we wake up, we can pray like, thank you, Lord, for sustaining me because uh, we we really don't deserve uh, each day that we're given. But God is patient and kind. Sorry. Um, When you read, I think it was verse 5, I laid me down and slept. It made me think of a prayer that I learned in you know, back and forth on that prayer book with Mm -hmm. ideas on this. But when I was growing up, a bedtime prayer that I learned was, now I lay me down to sleep. Mm -hmm. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. If I should die before I wake, I pray the Lord my soul to take. Which Mm -hmm. just thinking about that, like the uh, um, truths behind that, like that, yeah, we're not promised tomorrow. So like I'm going to bed trusting that if I wake up tomorrow, it's for the Lord. And if not, that he's got my soul, you know, he's got me. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of cool. I'd... Never made that connection with yep. this song. And there's another in Psalm 4, 8. It says, I will both lay me down in peace and sleep, for thou, Lord, oh. only makest me dwell in safety. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to have to get me a KJV. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> in verse 6, we see David, after he's able to sleep and wake up, he proclaims mightily that he will not be afraid of several thousand people that set themselves against him. Unreal. Um, and so he did not let his fear control him. Mm-hmm. Um, and rightfully so, because God is on his side. Mm-hmm. What can man do to me? Exactly. Um, Then continuing in verse 7, he begins to pray or plea again. We see him kind of talking to God, asking God to save him from his enemies. And then he recounts, uh, in different translations, the the tense of these words is kind of uh, portrayed differently. Sure. Um, But in the KJV, it it seems past tense. So I think he starts to recount. uh uh-huh. Yeah. uh, these different uh, things in the past that bring him assurance. So it says, uh, For thou hast smitten all mine enemies upon the cheek, and thou hast broken the teeth of the ungodly. Hmm. 
And so he's kind of saying, like, you have done this for me in the past. You have helped me. You have saved me. Um, and kind of an appeal to do it again or, mm-hmm. like, an assurance that God will continue to provide for him. Mm-hmm. And there's also a sense where it says, you have smitten the enemy or my enemies upon the cheek is kind of like um, almost kind of like a backhand mm-hmm. of saying, like, get away. Uh, you know, you're really it's kind of an insult hmm. to them. Um, and then when it says thou, thou hast broken the teeth of the ungodly um, would kind of make them stop talking. They, it would be hard for them to talk. And so they wouldn't be able to mock God or mock him. Hmm. And so there's those kind of t- connotations uh, set up with it. And then in verse 8, that kind of ends it, um, assured of the truth, he makes a proclamation against his mockers in verse 2 when they said there's no help for him in God. Um, David instead says in verse 8, salvation belongs unto the Lord. Thy blessing is upon his people. And so he's saying that there is help for me in God. There's actually salvation for me in God. And his blessing is going to be upon all those who call on him. Yeah, and the salvation doesn't necessarily have to be he's going to be physically okay from his son. Mm -hmm. He doesn't know that for sure. Yeah, and for us just as Christians who aren't in David's situation and who aren't living in Old Testament times, a few things that we can take away from it is that every Christian has enemies that are seeking to do them immense harm. Mm -hmm. You, me, our guest, Bailey. Um, And just to prove that, Ephesians 6.12 says, For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. And then 1 Peter 5.8 says, Be sober-minded, be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. So our enemy, Satan, is he seeks the, the damnation of our souls. Mm-hmm. Um, he's trying to drag us down to hell with him to burn in the eternal fire because he's already doomed there. So he's why not try take and as many as he take can. as many as he can. Um, and he he hates you. Mm-hmm. He hates everything about you. Even if you're uh, on his side, if you're blaspheming God and all this, he still hates you. Mm-hmm. Um, but thankfully, God is our shield. Um, God is our glory and the lifter of our heads. Uh, And we can take heart knowing uh, that our Savior Jesus died on the cross for our sins and that he has freed us from the tyranny of the devil. And we can stand firm against Satan's attacks um, because the job for us isn't to conquer Satan because Jesus Christ conquered Satan. Mm -hmm. Our job is to stand firm against him because we know there's an appointed day where Satan will be thrown into the lake of fire and we won't have to deal with him. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, I guess just take heart in the fact that Jesus Christ with his spirit has equipped us to handle the the spiritual attacks that Satan tries to commit against us. And um, we can remember that he's our shield and our glory and the lifter of our head. So, I guess that's it. Wow. Take a drink, amen. You deserve it. <laughs> that was really good. Very thirsty. Thank you. <laughs> I'll bet. Man, good word. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, I like it. I've uh, switched it up a little bit because I wanted to get you in there and get that good word. And uh, now that we're almost a half an hour in here, I think uh, it's... <laughs> I'm going to switch because I feel like it'll go well. I have a s- bonus pontification that'll come in due time. Okay. But I'm ready to get to our guest for today. Me How's too. That sound? I'm very ready. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to do some of the, uh, you know what? I'll just do some of the introduction here because, and then we'll enlighten you as to what these mean. Yes. Because <laughs> as, <laughs> as um, different from some of the guests, you have, you've been able to uh, add some yeah. stories or whatever, but this is a new one for yeah. you. I'm particularly so, interested in C. I'll bet you are. I'll let you read C. I'm going to read A and B. I'll let you read C, okay. and then I'll do D and E, and then we'll cool, cool, fill cool, in cool, and talk, cool, okay? Cool, cool. So our guest today um, has been a huge leader in VBS in both crafts and being a guide. We have a story of a bat to come soon. Um, has been a Awana leader for a number of years in different capacities, is the... Selfie queen. Yeah. <laughs> got to, I, Noah, got to read and MC at the wedding of this individual and her husband. And her husband was my VBS guide wow. when I was growing up, which is pretty cool. So welcoming to the Pontification Pals podcast, 
Or you Me and Chase it? together are welcoming. <laughs> okay. Marcy, Marcy Hoffman. Hoffman. Hello. <laughs> hey, I told you 20 to 25 minutes. Yeah, but... you did great. And I sat quiet this entire you did. time. That's the longest <laughs> yeah, I think I I've been with some... you. And yeah, not... where I could be quiet. And I did write some notes on here to help you with your, I love it. your podcast. Yeah, hey, great. you did a phenomenal job. Yeah, that Thank was really you. Good. Yes. Thank you. Especially, like, it's so awesome how God works because... There have been certain events and and people in my life who, this week who have reached out about like the darkness, you mm. know, the the moments of, yeah, we're not guaranteed tomorrow, yep. and uh, the devil is real and he's attacking people, mm-hmm. and and when we are weak, he attacks even harder. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So um, that was good. That yeah. was good. And to know that he is there, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Brings hope. Yeah. Yeah. Good hope. Yeah, it's a good word. Yeah. Yeah. So Sorry. <laughs> no, that's so you great. did a wonderful job. So Thank in you. 17 years, I'll be excited to <laughs> read your devotion. Oh, perfect! <laughs> I'll get I'll get to work on it. Maybe yeah. it'll be like 15 years. Yeah. I, don't I can't know. wait for the four hour long episode we'll have to do for Psalm 119. That'll be fine. Oh, yeah. wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! <clears throat> so yeah, VBS for two or three years. I think it was you did crafts. Well, okay, so let's backtrack a little okay. bit. So I Uh-oh. did VBS crafts until I decided that I wanted to marry Nate, and then I couldn't <laughs> do VBS crafts because we were going on our honeymoon. honeymoon? Yeah, yes, so then Noah, Bro. like, you kind of like, I don't know, erased me from <laughs> being able to do arts and crafts. You have picked a I few. You didn't Maybe there's the bitterness way. built up. Uh, no, none at all. Um, <laughs> because being a guide is so much easier than arts and crafts. And Noah doesn't like glitter, so there are like yeah. rules against what you can do and can't do. Okay. If I didn't have so, to yes. clean it, it'd be a little bit less of a hatred right, for it. Right, right, yes. But yes, I did do arts and crafts for wow. many years, and then... I got married and I was like, nope, can't do that. And he <laughs> replaced me. And then, Shame, then I did being a guide, which I have enjoyed. Yeah, that's good. So. And this year was guide of the kindergarten group. Yes, Casey um, and I led them. Yeah. And then, and then was it the first night that she wasn't there? No, was it was later in the week. Was Casey there that night that the bat story happened though? Oh, no, she oh. wasn't. I, think that I was had the first to send her a video. She was gone. Yes. It was wow. like the, must have been Wednesday night. Because it wasn't the last night. No, it wasn't it was the last Wednesday night. night. It was, yeah, and, it was like um, in the middle of the week. And I had already, no, 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 you were the first <laughs> instance. I think I shared a little bit maybe <clears throat> over the, <clears throat> on the summer break. Like shared our, what? I think I shared a little bit of the story to come on our summer recap. The bat episode. story? Yeah, but does Chase bit. know that our church is but, full of bats? I wouldn't say full on the podcast. Oh, sorry. It is not. It is not full of cats. I, I, I think I've just not kind full of, of... It may be full of cats. <laughs> I've just inferred that our church is extremely full of bats. Just I wouldn't from the use amount words of like stories, extremely. Like, it's more full than it ought to be. <laughs> one oh. bat is more full than it ought to be. <laughs> exactly. And, we and we've had, I feel probably. like I at least heard th- three so different anyways. accounts. <laughs> This being one of them. Yeah, okay. No, so, you so, better make sure you tell me what I can and cannot say it's on okay. the It's okay. No, no, no. It all, it's all better. Um, we've said some probably, you know, anyways. Yes. Um, <laughs> um, so this was the first, I, f- I think I was on my way to do something. I don't know if it was a part of the story, but um, I got a call from you. and I think a, maybe a text first. I didn't see it, and then a call. Mm-hmm. Um that there's issues in the back and there yes, was because we were doing games out back yeah. yeah you tell me what you okay so because i got there after the kids had now moved to yes the had we had moved lot. to the tree area yeah. mm. um so like we're playing a game i can't remember what the game is probably like running back and yeah. forth and all of a sudden one of the kids is like hey marcy <laughs> what is that and along the wall in the daylight is a bat. And I'm like, oh, I don't know. But I got closer and I was like, oh, that is a bat. And so then I like it was fine. had it all was the kids there. kind of go this way. Oh, and then no. I'm like documenting it with pictures <laughs> and texting it to Noah. This like, goes to Park you C. You need to come quickly and take care of this bat. Oh, my gosh. And so yeah. he did. Yeah. He came and yeah. took care of it. Bats are the creepiest. And then, late, and then I think it was right after that there was like a loose dog. Over by the arts and crafts oh, on the west side. I think oh, I remember. Yes. And I then there, right after that, there was a student that was like having a meltdown about something, and this was all like in five minutes. And I'm like, "Wow, that was trial by baptism by fire." Yeah, I mean exactly. it was unreal. 
Yeah. Truly, in truly. the truest sense of that In the phrase. truest sense. And really in the was. daylight, though. That's <laughs> yeah. the crazy part. Like, it'd be and different if it was uh, night. You know, like, getting angry or no. hurting anything. Yeah. He was just but hanging out. He was just hanging and out. And it was but, hot. But it was yeah. not uh, safe, so. Yeah, I had a bat swoop at me once when we were oh, camping no. one time. Oh. My pastor saw it happen. I didn't know it was happening. We yeah. were playing frisbee Supposed out Supposed maybe trying night. to get insects and stuff. Something too, it was just swooped by my head, but yeah. I was I had like hunched over to grab the frisbee just in just, time. He just missed you. So very you just thankful became for Batman. that. So Noah got to add that to his resume? Do you get to add removal of bat to your I resume? I should. Well, I mean, it's on there. I mean, you do it so often at our church because it's filled with bats, so it's like you might as well just add it. <laughs> I've got a lot of explaining to do. You need to ask his mom. Good thing our numbers are down. <laughs> our numbers are down. <laughs> oh. And uh, so, yeah, and then Nate was my VB. I don't know if you knew that. No, I didn't know that. And for I for guess sure he, one year. Yeah, I don't know and if he read this before and didn't say anything. Oh, really? Yeah, because yeah. I'm like, yeah, I yeah. Was like, read this and make sure mm-hmm. I don't say anything I'm not supposed to. Whoops, I already did. <laughs> yeah, no, but he good. didn't say anything yeah. about that. So, and then, yeah, I got to read, I think it was the Old Testament passage. But I don't remember for sure. Either Old or New Testament at your guys' wedding. Right, and um, that could maybe started your five minutes to fame. Probably. Yeah, because, I mean, you got to go up in front. And that was yeah. my first and then wedding MC'd. I got to MC. Yeah. And I was pretty proud of that's that. That's where his hunger for fame started, I think. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Insatiable it's, appetite. It really is. Yeah. And I, I wanted to confront you, but I guess doing it on the podcast Who's talked is, the most on this episode so far, <laughs> actually? I think you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> somebody break that down, analyze it. <laughs> oh, uh, no. <laughs> jinx on that. Uh. Yeah, I know. That was good. <laughs> Oh, man. We've had a lot of lately, those moments. Like that when we took that 10-second radio silence and then came back at the exact same time. Yeah. At like 13 seconds. But that was good. Yeah. Um, so, Selfie Queen, explain three, for Chase. I have yeah. can't, I have come <laughs> with two selfie she sticks. She comes with And I am going weapons. to stand up and I am going to take a selfie. Yeah. If you do not know me and those who are listening who do know me <laughs> are probably laughing because this was my very first selfie stick uh, thanks to Casey who ordered it at wow. the time we paid $20 for it oh. but it was the new rage Whoa. look at that and What's then you the connected it to your phone and you push this handy button Whoa. and it would take it now that's, that's been quite a long time ago, so yeah. it doesn't work the greatest. So uh-huh. that's why I'm going to close this one. This is my go-to one, a five-dollar <laughs> Walmart special. <laughs> there you go. And it also does the same thing. So yeah, I have Let's to get my phone action. together here. I have to swipe over. Wow, this is. And every year, I will tell you something. Now, every year at uh-huh. the beginning of the school year, we do a. Oh, hold on. Um, <laughs> a ninth grade welcome to oh, the building because oh, I yeah. teach six through twelve special ed. And we do a welcome. I probably shouldn't show the whole world my uh, <laughs> password because I do leave my phone lay around. All right, let's get situated. That was good here. thinking. I apparently I can't talk. No, I'd have been like uh, and one, three. Do this at the same time. All right. Ninth grade. Ninth welcome grade. To ninth welcome grade. day, and then you have to bring a prop. And you know what I bring every time? Your selfie stick. My selfie stick, but. For some reason, the camera updated. So we're good now. All right, Sweet. so I'm going to stand up. we got to get Bailey. Bailey, background. yeah. Okay, mm-hmm. and then you'll have three seconds, and it goes now. And then we'll take one more in case, like, Noah blinked. <laughs> oh, of course, me. And there it is. Yeah. Every selfie. First. If you don't know me, we take a selfie because, you know, there is a story. Can I tell my story? Yeah, tell Do you. we have time? Yeah, 38 oh, yeah. minutes, rat. Um, we have at least three hours left oh, before oh, we get right. past Bailey's. Oh, yeah. oh fantastic. We, we have, like, if you hit four hours, your new world record. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Well, I don't think I'll be that long. But no. um, I'd spend the summers at my grandma's house, grandma and grandpa's house, that live in Springfield, South Dakota, which is near where Avon, you... where my grandparents live. Yes. So anyway, mm. I had a... I don't know a relative who had Alzheimer's, and she asked a lot of the same questions like, hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? And I was about seven, and because I didn't know what that was, and I didn't, wasn't educated on it or anything, I was thinking, oh my goodness, that's going to happen to me. It's in my mm-hmm. family. I'm not going to be able to remember everything. So from that point forward, everything was documented. <laughs> Food, my family, people I met, strangers. So whoever has to look through all of my photos someday is going to be like, she was crazy. Like, why do we have 900 pictures of 
a cat in the neighborhood or the food she ate. And she ate that sandwich three times in the last month. <laughs> wow. Why is she documenting it? And then when Snapchat it. came out, that was like... Was the disease spread. Yeah. That, yes. Every part of your so, body. Yeah. But my reason being is I was going to take all those photos to the nursing home with me. So then when I couldn't remember... My life. Now I mean, you have these oh, random photos that some lady took that you can't life. remember. Yes, <laughs> yeah. yes. Yeah, great look at life. this lady's See, life. But I wish I lived Here's that the life. thing. 400 years from now when archaeologists are trying to dig stuff up, they're going to find that and they're yeah. going to have ex- like extreme Extent, yeah. information. They'll literally be able to rebuild Marcy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks to you, 400 you years from now. You've forever. People Very will be cool. able to know more about this yeah. time. Oh, true. Yeah. So. They'll be able to know that I took three of the sunset have... prior to coming into Noah's house. <laughs> yeah. It was pretty. <laughs> it was beautiful You're going to have way yes. more than five minutes of fame. <laughs> there yeah. we go. That's so that crazy. dash And so now my... we, too, are going to be famous what? in one small way because we got are in the selfie oh, true, true, true. selection. Yeah, you yeah. are. And I'll post it later to, like, hey, watch yes. the pontification yeah. pals. Wow. Do you follow them? Yeah, which, okay, so I had to write this down because I told myself I needed to remember. I forgot that today, when this comes out, is my sister's birthday. So oh, it's Neely's birthday? Happy birthday, Neely, today. When this oh. comes out or today right now? Today when this comes out. So when, when it comes out. To this. <laughs> okay. Oh, so for today. us, next Saturday. Oh. oh. Happy so, but then your birthday, birthday's Neely. close. Because I was thinking about that. that. My birthday is this recording. upcoming Thursday. The okay. 19th. Yep. Okay. So I just gave away to them. And Nate's, but they know Nate's birthday is 17th, yeah. which is Tuesday. And then yep. Braxton's birthday would be Sunday. Yeah. And Nathan, our great founder, his was the 16th. <laughs> our which is, great founder. Yeah. yeah. January's it's a good January's month. packed. But could you imagine being a, mo- a mom delivering in January? Yeah. It snows. I know. <laughs> in yeah. South Dakota a lot. That's bad. Yeah. 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 That's, yeah. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mental. Okay. Here we go. So we got some questions for you. Okay, I'm ready. So wait, am I blue? Yeah, you're blue. blue. Okay. First question. I said that weird. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Favorite movie. <laughs> okay, so I've been thinking about this since Noah sent me the script because I'm like, I probably. These are like the hardest questions. Yeah, because I'm like, I probably should pick like a Christian-related movie yeah. because you know it is a Christian podcast. But then I'm like, yeah, I'm just gonna be honest. Yeah. I love Save the Last Dance. By far. Mm. It, it yeah, takes place no. in... No, no one knows what it is. It takes place in Chicago. <laughs> it is a love story about mm-hmm. these two individuals who fall in love over dancing. And uh, it, it is my favorite. And awesome. I can do any Hallmark Christmas movie, mm-hmm. hands down. So those are kind of... The reason we haven't seen it is because it came out in 2001. Oh, yes. I it was, was probably two. before your time because that was born in 1987. So I'm... 99. Oh, 99. Yeah. 98? Yeah. I just... Recycled it to the garbage can because it was on v- VHS. And you don't have and VHS has, anymore. Yeah. Joyce does. Oh. But she gave it to Dennis and Susan Slaughter. So then oh. she doesn't. Grandma Joyce, yeah, come on. <laughs> you can go right. to Dennis and Susan. You can buy it. it on Amazon in DVD sure. form. That's good. So I, yeah, two thousand one isn't that old for a movie to be. Yeah. You know, out on DVD in different ways. Yeah. Okay. Good. Favorite hymn or church song? All right, I wrote it down. Uh, By Faith, Ooh. Keith and Kirsten Getty. Yeah. Aha, uh-huh, we sing it's it in church. Mm-hmm. Bailey yeah. likes that. We're doing it this Sunday. Now, oh, oh, we no are. We ha- I was just saying to Nate, we haven't heard it in a very long time. <laughs> the Lord. Yes, because we're getting, we, that was the song we chose for an the all day congregational. The day after this comes out, we're going to sing that song. Yeah. Wow. No, 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 no. Sorry, never mind. At our wedding, so that's the why week it's week before this. Okay. In preparation of this coming out, we okay. will sing that song. Perfect. We haven't and sang it in church in a long time. How special it is. Incredible. Yeah. We might even have to raise our hands. Yeah. Oh, yes. Maybe we'll get <laughs> Justin's attention. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if we all are in the front. Right. Yeah. And, then, and then block his view. <laughs> yeah. And then block his children's view who yeah. sit right behind us in the front and aren't tall enough. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> Love it. That's a good song. I like that one. Yeah. Yeah. Next. Oh yeah, favorite book in general, Christian book, non-Christian book. Well, as teachers, it gets hard because you it, read it lots does. of books, right? Well, and I've just recently found like my love to read again. Mm, um, so like, I've got a goal of thirteen books to read this year. Yes. Uh, but I like Karen Kingsbury. She is a Christian mm. author. I like Robin Carr. She's like the Virgin River series. She also made a book. I like that. And then um, I'm into Colleen Hoover, who just became famous because of her TikTok. And oh. so I like her books, but. Wow. Like, you have to be careful when you read 
Robin Carr and Colleen Hoover because you can get sucked into the worldly things. But mm. they're both very good art, uh, authors. So, yeah. But I do love to Great. read. 13 is my goal this year. And nice. I think I will... I will make it. I got all the way to twelve this year. Ooh, so that's good. I know. Yeah. Do, you, do you read? Both of you? Read? I read. Yeah, we, yeah I Chase read. is a big reader. I yeah. enjoy and reading. I, do He's gotten goals? me into it more. Um, yeah. I kind like I have a pile of books right now on the top of my bookshelf, and I'm like, I want to read all those this year, and so those are the books that I'm going to try and read. I often get sidetracked and grab other books. So yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm similar to you. Like I try to do like one. Yeah, yeah. I, you can't really set super high because then when you don't make right. it, then you feel like yeah defeated. And and it depends. Yes. Like I mean, like I've I read a <laughs> Christmas book that Joyce gave me like in a week or whatever, and then like the prayer book Chase gave me, I've gotten through the first part, but they were smaller books. But then also like the prayer one, you want to kind of go digest as well. So like there's different things <clears throat> that come with the books. You yeah. might have a bigger book that's a quicker read and a smaller one that's slower because different things. Yeah. So yeah. and. Life happens. You know? yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, you might pick as two long as like you said, you have a love, as long as <laughs> yeah. something you love to read. And like, mm-hmm. One yeah. thing I've had to learn how to do is like when I'm reading through a book, if I'm like get through it, and I'm this just happened recently, and I'm just like oh, I'm not interested anymore. I don't want to keep reading it. I kind of want to move on. Like not forcing myself to finish it, but like setting it down for now and just moving on. Yeah, because I can. Because then when I'm reading through it, it's not really like oh I'm enjoying myself and. But so yeah, mm-hmm. but yeah, I love reading. Great, yeah, I do too. Yeah. Um, okay, favorite vacation, either one you've been on. No, you skipped or one. You skipped, you skipped one. one. Dude. I'm I gotta so tell about sorry. my food. I like to eat. Favorite food. <laughs> Me too. Sorry. I love Chinese Turkey. and spaghetti. Uh. That's very like opposite. Ends of- <laughs> what if, what's your favorite Chinese food in particular? Well, I like sesame seed chicken. Mm. Orange chicken is good. Sometimes I get like into this like if I go to China Moon, I very much like the white. Is it like rice noodles with shrimp? That's quite good. That's mm. what I've been getting lately. Yeah. I nice. do like Chinese. If I could make it at home, it'd be great. Mm. Yeah. I've yeah. tried. It's not the same. I get the American Chinese. So yeah, like Panda Express is what I really like. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, there's actually a nice place in Sioux Falls. It's Thai food, uh, oh. but it's called Pho Thai. It's downtown. <laughs> and they have this, uh, it's a dish called pineapple fried rice. And so what they do is they cut a pineapple in half and then scoop the pineapple out. And then they put rice and then they put chicken and then they put uh some vegetables in it and then they put the the pineapple back on top oh, that wow. they scooped out and then you eat it out of the pineapple no way it's really good it's you have to a have huge like portion protective gloves to hold the pineapple? no it's on a plate mm-hmm. oh so then you they bring to touch it, it yeah it's so i'm sure it's warm yeah, oh, yeah. yeah they wow. probably have to like yeah. cook it or something or it's it's really good, it's good. man we got to get outside of Madison. <laughs> <laughs> get past China Moon. Right. <laughs> um, well, I'll go to the question now that uh, you tried to steal from me, thief. Sorry. <laughs> Forgive um, me. I pray. Favorite vacation, one you've been on, or a dream vacation? Oh. I don't know. Like, I was trying to think of, like, what I say, like, oh, I'd like to go to Paris, and then Nate's going to listen to this, and he's like, when did you want to go to Paris? Like, <laughs> really, that's not. But I, I don't know. I like adventures. Oh, well. So <laughs> any adventure I can go on, yeah. th- those are good. Mm-hmm. I did enjoy our trip to Florida. That was fun. Mm-hmm. Um, that was the first time we ever navigated, like, a trip on our own. Okay. Um, I went on family trips with my family when I was little. You know, we got to see California. We went to Michigan. Went to New Mexico. So, like, wow. I've mm-hmm. gotten to go places. I went on youth groups to New York. We went to, and, um, yeah, I've just been all over. So, eventually, I'd like to go to all 50 states. So, mm-hmm. maybe that would be cool. That would be fun. Yeah. I just like to go on adventures. Mm-hmm. I like to yeah. travel. Yeah. yeah. Someone says, you want to go to North Dakota? And I'll say, sure, let's go. <laughs> yeah. You know, I hadn't takes, been to North Dakota until recently. Like, it, Not much just there. a few years. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So... What did you go to North Dakota for? Um, I went to Fargo. To mm. Oh, I used I've been to live there. there. Yeah, you did. Yeah, I forgot. About yeah, it. for five years. Yeah. yeah, all my elementary school, I was in Fargo. Man, that explains a lot. Yeah, <laughs> and I guess I suppose <laughs> I probably shouldn't, in case like my family from North Dakota. So yeah. like Nate's oldest mm-hmm. brother lives in North Dakota. Sure. So it's probably been like s- ten years. But anyway, sure. yeah, like yeah, going probably not a lot of strange. You know. Funny enough, I actually had a dream last night that we were, me and Anna were in Fargo, and I was showing her where we used to live. It was this old apartment building, um, and so I went to the actual like room, or I guess apartment that it was, 
And for some reason, out sitting outside of the apartment was a guy, and there was a couch for some reason in the hallway. He was sitting on it, and I could tell he lived there for some reason. <laughs> so I, I approached <laughs> him. I'm like, an I approached him, and I was like, "Hey, I used to live there," and I was just telling him like, "Yeah, it was really fun." And I think that I hadn't noticed that the apartment building had actually been run down, and I think it was a drug den. <laughs> And the man looked at me, and I think he was maybe ODing on something. He was at least high. And I was like, oh, my, what's happening? And I looked to my right, and there was graffiti on the wall. And so I was like, oh, what am I, I need to get out. And then it's I like woke up. It's like your face with an X through it. And so, I mean, it was wow. scary. And maybe that's like something. But Maybe your foes are after you. Maybe. You can but, rest but, assured, brother. <laughs> I just thought it was interesting. So, yeah. But yeah, Fargo. Yeah. I forgot how fun your dream... I remember at one point I wanted you to like document them all because your dream you storytelling is... Yeah. I should. He's told some at Bible study before that like just were fantastic. I mean, it didn't sound fun for you in the moment. I mean, it wasn't But I loved bad. hearing it. Well, like no, this, but I've heard some worse ones. But I mean, yeah, they're like they're usually stuff. like fun. Like in the even the ones that seem scary, like in the moment, they're still like fun for me. Sure. Well, because you can rest. Dude. Yeah. I just it's like a fun adventure that sure. I don't have to get out of my bed to do. <laughs> <laughs> I get to be chased by people who want to hunt me down. I don't have to do a thing. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. man. Oh, okay. Man. Now this is the part I'm not Here so we go. sure about. Some These random, random questions. Yes. Okay. I'm gonna ask you mine, and then Chase will go. So. Mine, and I'm sure that it'll be hard to answer, but do you have a favorite selfie? Oh, that's a very good question, Noah. Uh, yeah. I don't know. What? I did take, like, famous, my favorite, famous one. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. A few of you, I, I don't, I'm not good at time. Nate will tell you that many times I can't. <laughs> I get years all mixed up. But anyway, um, a girl, a bunch of girls and I, so the Hoffman girls and some extra people, uh, went down to Waco, and I got a selfie with Joanna Gaines' mom. That's wow. That's pretty cool. Wow. Was yeah. that the most famous? That's probably the most famous person I've seen. <laughs> I, think it's, I mean, I don't... I think it's funny that it's Joanna Gaines' mom. <laughs> yeah, hey, that's like a connection. I'm going to go back in a few years. That's um, so good. I looked for the Pioneer Woman, and uh -huh. I... I also, on that same trip, went there, mm. and you know, her son is at Vermilion, USC. Well, I did not know that, actually. That's cool. Yes, and so I'm hoping that when I go to Vermilion, which I go there a lot, not, um, <laughs> I might run into her, because awesome. I looked for her when I was there. We, Famous people just yeah. intrigue me. We use yeah. the Pioneer Woman knives. We have knives Ooh. that are Do you Pioneer have the Woman. cookie jar? No, but we have another thing that's like very, it's florally, it's like the design and stuff, and that's Pioneer Woman Your stuff. wife has very good taste. Yeah, she does. Mm -hmm. None of it's mine. She, she gets all of that. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, uh, fa but, that's good. Uh, yeah, I mean, I just like all my selfies oh, yeah. with people. They're all special. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, like I think of Grandma Joyce, for example. Yeah. Like she tells me all the time, you know, I'm not gonna be around yeah. very long. So and so is gonna do my funeral. Like all these yeah. things that I'm like, <gasps> breathe. <laughs> yeah, like take lots. So like some of put those. a strap yeah. of camera to your forehead. Yeah, like people like that, or you, or yeah, all my yeah, yeah my husband, my kids. <laughs> You know, my good friends, yeah. <laughs> Speaking of my the students. strap uh, camera, I mean, I guess it's called a GoPro. The oh, strap has that been invented? <laughs> the I GoPro? So. <laughs> <laughs> For, I think it's old now at this right. point. Uh, I told Casey, I'm like, we need, I will pay you money to have a Casey cam with just some of the stories that she said lately, just like in real life day. Like, just, I'm like, yeah. we need this. And because you try to remember them and then you're oh, like, yeah. oh, I miss something. Or it's just like, I would lo love to have seen you sliding down the driveway or whatever, like from your point of view, you know, the story is funny in and of itself. Right. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Love it. Okay. What do you got? Buddy? Uh, mine was Pal. Uh, wondering if you had any funny memories or stories from VBS with children or with dealing with Noah. <laughs> oh, Noah is a handful. <laughs> he is a handful. There goes bless all my help for yeah, the summer. Yeah, bless both of you for, you know, <laughs> podcasting with him. That's um, hard. I don't know. Kids, kids say the darndest things. It's a like, thorn in my side. I, yeah. I don't they know. Do. I don't have any. I wish, yeah. I wish you wouldn't have made it random and I could have really thought about it. <laughs> yeah, you're I was right. trying to remember <laughs> this last summer we did... Maria did a wonderful job. She handed the kids oh, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, Play-Doh yeah, and... Yeah. 
I just, there's many kids said many things and now I can't even remember. So that was probably pointless to share, but <laughs> like, yeah, they just, yeah, they, they were more focused on the Play-Doh though. She was incorporating <laughs> creation and yeah. Wow. Anyway, but yeah, kids just say that or like, she's like, put it away. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. 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 I, I had a good story, but I don't, you need to tell me prior then. It yeah. Won't be yeah. I'll have to catch you some other yeah. time. Yeah. I, I kind of have learned that the kids do say the darndest they things really ever do. since helping you with Sunday school mm-hmm. and then doing VBS mm-hmm. myself. Uh, one that comes to mind is having several young girls constantly asking me if we can pray for their pregnant cats, <laughs> even oh. if we do not indeed. One of the Peter Ann's girls. Oh. I bet you can guess which yeah, one. Yeah, I wonder. Oh. I wonder who. <laughs> That's so funny. I love it. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah. I remember that. Yeah. They, they bring something different, you know. They, they, they do. I spend all my time with adults, and so it's like culture shock yeah. when you're, like, talking to a child. Right. But it's good, yeah, because yeah. they just share whatever and honesty. Right. Very and open. they always answer, Jesus. Mm. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. When you ask a question, yeah. Jesus. <laughs> Typical Sunday school answer. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. Oh, man. That's like, good. try again. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. That's right, but think a little deeper. Yeah. 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 Kids are oh, funny. Man. They are. They very much are. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's, um, I think what we're going to do, Marcy, is we're going to get into the guestimony. So that's what we've That's we a very now. cool. Don't you like that? <laughs> <laughs> the guestimony. So your kind of testimony, and then we're going to get that into the topic talk for today, um, which is faith fosters family. And then I kind of added last minute, God is in this story. So I'm going to let you share, and then if it's okay, I'm going to share a little bit of my surprise Ish, not really. Bonus. Pontification, bonus pontification as it connects into this idea and topic. Okay. Okay? I'm okay with that. You so, have my permission. Thank you. Do you want to lead the faith part, yeah. the testimony part? Because yeah, you do, do a do great that. job. I don't know if I just do Just reading great off the questions. Yeah, I mean, like, I, I'm redundant when I do this. I, I'm not needed, but... <laughs> he, he um, typically just reads through them all and then gives you... Yeah, so, <laughs> how you came to faith, what it was like growing up, when your faith became real to you kind of touching on that, and then your your time at West Center, how that came about, and then how uh, you've been serving or uh, continue to serve in the church. So I guess, yeah, I mean, if you need to, you can just look on the paper where all of what I just said is there. <laughs> I just like to make him do it every That's time. That's okay. You... There's the umbrella. <laughs> you did a good just job. Just what you Thanks. got. <laughs> all right. I'm going to do my very best, but you, you probably should know some things about me before I get started. Like, if I talk too much, you're going to have to stop me, because sometimes if I get nervous, I start to word vomit, and then you just need to say, enough, Marcy. <laughs> Usually, Nate is sitting with me, and he elbows me, mm-hmm. or he like taps my leg, and is like, you got to stop where you're at. Um, so... You two will have that role. Like if I start to go Get long-winded. <laughs> well, hey, you know what? I wanted them to do the same thing to me, and they never did. No, it's, it's you want to know why? Well, maybe it's because I have. I just don't know how to act, and so I, mean, I just like socially, I cannot do any of that. <laughs> I feel too bad to do I that. I do remember <laughs> writing a note to Chase saying we should probably quit. Soon. <laughs> All I could think about is the pork loin I had grilling, and then like the people that I was supposed to be hosting coming over. I'm like, I wonder what time it is, and I wonder if they're like calling me. And <laughs> well, I have no you know to act. Maybe we'll both come out of our shell today maybe. and tr- let's try, you know. Okay. But I, I see the thing is, like, I don't normally know when people are going over, so that'll be okay. Okay, we're at almost an hour, so if it gets to an hour and a half, okay, I'll let you. You can bear the burden. <laughs> okay. We'll let you go. <laughs> yeah. And if I speak too fast, you need to slow me down because if I get I'm nervous, sure. he'll, just, <laughs> he'll just edit me out. It'll all work out. Okay. <laughs> All right, so and my hands get sweaty, and yeah, my neck starts blotching, and this is going to be real stuff. So yeah. all the stuff before, I knew like a second back of my yeah. hand, but mm-hmm. this will be real. Okay, so mm-hmm. how I came to faith. Um, I grew up in a Christian home. Um, we went to a Missouri Synod church um, in Hill City. I grew up in the Black Hills. Mm-hmm. Uh, we, My mom taught Sunday school. We went um, every Sunday. It was great. Um, I I was in Sunday school. We had a small Sunday school. So, like, the foundation started. I joined a youth group at a, uh, it was a community Lutheran church in Hill City because the church that we belonged to didn't have enough people. So then I went to that, and I would say that would probably be, like, the starting point of, like, building and shaping and molding me. Mm -hmm. Um, Now, had I accepted Jesus at that point? I don't think so. Um, But we did, you know, went on mission trips. We did weekly meetings. It was good. I was starting the foundation. Um, and then I went to college and it was at college that I probably had that light bulb moment of like, Mm -hmm. 
you are a sinner, you need to repent, you don't truly have a relationship, you need to, you know, find that relationship. So we called it, you guys call it something different at DSU. Crew? Crew, nope. I was a part of InterVarsity. Oh, yeah. And that was probably, there was one lesson or one night where they talked about the relationship and that if you didn't have a relationship, you know, you were destined mm -hmm. for hell. A few years later, I went with Casey to Brookings where we watched, and I can't, we can't, even to this day, we cannot remember what we bought tickets for, but it was this two part book series and Justin's probably skin is probably crawling where <laughs> don't worry. He doesn't listen. Okay. Thank Kevin. <laughs> where we watched about heaven and hell and they. Hey everyone. This is Bailey currently editing the podcast. I apologize for this little snippet. Uh, we had some technical difficulties, but I'm just going to let you know that we are going to be backtracking a little bit. So if you hear a little bit of uh, repetitive things, that's okay. Just wanted to give you the heads up if something was confusing. So anyway, thanks for listening. Back to the show. Welcome back to the Pontification Pals <laughs> podcast. Because of technical difficulties, I'm First going... ever. Well, that's okay. It's because I was telling about when yeah. Casey and I went to Brookings yes. and we did not... Okay, like, I don't think either of us to this day can remember exactly, like, what we bought tickets for or if we even bought tickets for it, <laughs> but we went to Brookings. It was snowy. We drove the Bronco. I remember all of this. We drove the Bronco there, and I think she was pregnant with Lila. Wow. I do really believe this. This is getting better and, and better with yeah, probably then the first time when before it cut me out. But anyway, it was a book series, and it was <laughs> about heaven. And it's not heaven is for real. It's not that yeah. one. It's heaven and hell, and they were a package deal that you could buy in the place. So I was telling you about how that's probably making Justin's skin crawl. But anyway, during this, he like, probably right, <laughs> doesn't listen. We don't <laughs> think until he calls us to his office. No, just kidding. <laughs> um, anyway, they showed oh, a video about hell and what it looks like, and I. To this day, if like we have a sermon on hell or somebody brings up hell and how dark and scary and nobody wants to ever go there, Casey and I will always look at each other because like we remember like the fear, the fear of we're not going there. So I think I was talking about relationships before mm -hmm. we were cut off and whatever weird technology happened. Um, the relationship of knowing God. See, lost my train of thought. And I think I was talking about people in my life um, that mm -hmm. have helped build that relationship. Mm -hmm. I had a boss mm -hmm. in Hill City where mm -hmm. I worked at a, a hotel um, that told me, Marcy, it's, it's about relationships. It's about knowing God. At a personal level, it's not about what you do or um, how many times you go to church or um, how much you serve in your community. It's about a relationship with God. Now, those things are still good and will always be good things, but that's not the point. And so um, building a relationship. And so then I went to DSU. Did, did we get the part about university? Probably should retell that. Uh, sure, go ahead. Sure, yeah, go yeah, ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I asked you both, like, which campus ministry you had, and it was crew. I don't think they have university more, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. we but had I remember hearing about that because I've heard about it before. Yeah. So maybe so, just morphed into. Yeah, it, it could be. Or maybe it was small enough and could be. fizzled out. But yeah. university was what we went to um, on the campus of DSU. And there was a lesson or a sermon or something that talked about relationships. And I remember thinking, like, I really don't know. I don't really think that I am doing it right, which mm. that might sound weird. Um, and so at some point in college, some like I've always known about God. I've never had one of those amazing aha moments. Mm. I just know that he is my Lord and Savior, mm. that he died on the cross for my sins, um, that I will follow him forever, um, and that I will spend eternity in heaven one day. Like, mm. I know all of that. And in my heart of hearts, I can feel that and... I know that. So, like, I don't have any amazing story that, like, I was hit by a car or <laughs> I had made poor choices in my life and, like, God brought me out of that. Like, he's obviously done a lot of good things in my life and I've had lots of trials like anybody else mm. and he has brought me out through that. So, um, how I came to faith is, I, I think it was from my parents kind of taking me. The seeds were planted. Um, the people who have come along and are still coming along. I think of like Grandma Joyce, mm -hmm. Casey, um, my good friend, my husband, um, you know, just people in my life who invest in me and, you know, help correct and teach and mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. And even su Sunday school and VBS and Bible stud studies and all of mm -hmm. that, like 
we're never going to know it all. And I always think that. And I was intimidated coming because I'm like, (laughs) what if they call on me to tell, like, retell a verse and, like, digest it and I haven't had time to study or to Google or any of that. And, yeah, like, we're all learning. Mm -hmm. And Chase taught us a lot in Psalms tonight. Mm. Noah, you teach me things all the time. But we can't Mm. let your head get too big. No, don't do that. (laughs) Thanks for bringing that up, too. I I was going (laughs) to... We were going to publicly address that. Yeah, publicly (laughs) rebuke you. (laughs) No, your head's not too big yet. Uh, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> I've been trying. I've never really wrote out my testimony. I no. should do that. Mm. You know that when you... It is. Uh, yeah, when I was baptized, I was asked questions about it. Sure. I, it's just sorry, Just wrong. <laughs> that uh, connects really well with what I want to talk about. And then we can talk a little bit, of baby, about how you, I guess, ended up at West Center through college? No. Because no, you weren't coming. No. You want me to go there or do you want me to tell you how I grew up? Because it says, what was it like to grow up? Yeah, do that one. Yeah, because, I mean, okay, I grew yeah. up in the Black Hills, yep. and now I re- like I personally regret not taking advantage of the Black Hills. Mm, it's beautiful. Like, it's beautiful mm-hmm. out there. And hiking, I didn't do any of that. I didn't play tourist or any of that. So, mm. like, growing up, I lived in this beautiful, really, it's God's painting yeah. of South Dakota, mm-hmm. you know, not flat and windy. But yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'm over here. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> but, it's yeah, I grew here. up in a good home. Um, mm-hmm. My parents are great. I... Yeah, I couldn't ask for better parents. Mm. And I, I think, yeah, they helped make me who I am today or helped shape me be the person I am today. Yeah. Yeah, so, so I grew how, up in a good home. Yeah, and then how did that, so how did you get led to West Center, end up at West Center? It's because of Nate. Like, I... I had a boy. I had... <laughs> I, we have a little saltiness in it, like a little bit. Like Let's do uh, some counseling here. Well, no, we, we talked about it with Justin at our marriage counseling. It's fine. I, I went to First Baptist in in town. Uh Um, That's where I helped lead Sunday school um, with this sweet lady named Ginger. Um, Keith Bundy was Mm -hmm. the pastor at the time. In college. Uh, In college, yep. Yep. And then we got married and Nate says he's not leaving his home church. And I sure hope I can say that, hon. If not, you're going to have to edit it out. But (laughs) we're not, he's not leaving his home home church. This is the church that he grew up in. This is the way he feels at home. And so he said, you, you, got to come with me to West Center. And I was like, okay, fine. If I invest in West Center, we're staying here for life. <laughs> so we're staying at West Center for life. As the Lord leads. Yeah, as the Lord <laughs> leads, yes. So hopefully yeah. Please don't Lord. shut down or, no, yeah. or there's no more West Center yeah. or, yeah. yeah. But yeah, it was because of Nate. Yeah. Mm. So we wow. That's went great. there. Yeah. 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 We sat over on the other side mm-hmm. and then now we've morphed over to sitting by Grandma Joyce. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't it funny where you find your spots? I know. And then like when, you know, there are people who You move almost have a little Sunday. bit of anger when somebody sits in your yeah, spot. Right. Like, how dare you? <laughs> so college did not bring me to West Center. Though I do think I came one Sunday for like a service and a Bible study. But Well, I when you would have been in college, we'd probably been going through some of those kind of harder times with finding different pastors yeah. and things. So it yeah. wouldn't have been as stable and strong as we are today Yeah. either, you know. But, okay, so... This is leads well, and then we'll get into kind of the rest of your topic for today, the uh, how faith fosters family and the foster part and the family part. Um, but so for my bonus pontification or whatever today, um, and I added the part to God is in this story. I don't know, Marcy, I should have sent this on to you, Chase. Just listen to it. Was it last night? Yeah. I don't know if you've heard of Katie Nicole. Um, you'll have to listen to it after the podcast song well, called know, God is in the story. And maybe you've heard it. No, but um, you know, when you suggest songs, we hear them for like 10 months. Really? So how marvelous are, yes, we're, yeah. my children are still <laughs> singing how marvelous. I was vacuuming and dancing yeah. to it the other night. Yeah. Was this, that the VBS one? That was yeah. a VBS yeah. song. Yeah. This last summer. And now that you can connect YouTube to your TV, oh. it's a whole big thing. Whole new we're game. doing the yep. actions. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. How, How marvelous, marvelous you are. are. Yeah. 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 And Joy. Oh, that's a, that's joy a, is a quite one. requested. So yeah. I'm sure Kelly. Yeah. Katie Nicole. Oh, Katie Nicole. Katie Can't Nicole. read up. So I got to actually hear her in concert. We went to Jeremy Camp concert. My family did oh. this last um, winter, this past year, just in the wintertime. Um, and I didn't, this, and she kind of talked about her story a little bit. And I'll be perfectly honest, I don't remember a whole lot. I think it was just kind of doubts and all that kind of thing. But um, <clears throat> this song kind of hit me this week, and I guess I just want to read through a little bit of the lyrics first and then tell some stories. <coughs> so don't is snoop this, on my... Is this uh, illegal? I don't think so. Is, uh-huh. is he allowed to, to read, read the, lyrics? the lyrics? Yeah. Uh, what song? 
God in the Story by Katie Nicole. No, I'm sure, it's, I'm sure it's fine. She's a Christian. I'm not, she like, won't care. No, yeah, I'm, I'm, sure. I'm not playing. <laughs> can't like yeah. record. Okay, okay. Right. I'm things. making sure. I'm making sure. Yeah. I'm just going to read these That was words. nice of Chase not to, like, like, read, to look out for you. You could have ended up in jail. I, I don't and know I that would, I would get that far. I would have testified <laughs> against you. You maybe would have had to bail you out. <laughs> you testified against me? I've been like, yeah, he did read the lyrics. What, do you want me to lie? That's a sin. Well, no, but try and like, okay, man, I'm... Okay. It's okay. Uh, it. Noah, it's... the worst that would happen is you get fined like ten. Oh sure. <laughs> or just like take the video down, maybe. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> we couldn't do that. We could. <laughs> I would not compromise. Yeah, this is my five okay, minutes fine. of fame. Never mind. I won't do my pontification. <laughs> no, Sorry, I want I'll to. I'll be hear. quiet. <laughs> it's not you. <laughs> I give you permission. Not you. It's me. <laughs> <laughs> May I continue, please? Yeah. Can I get an Oreo? Really? <laughs> I don't no. know if he deserves one. <laughs> hey, grace shall be shown okay, in fine. this household. Right. <laughs> oh god you can have the Oreo I hope he got that on film yes, yes I did awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, okay for those of you listening on Spotify <laughs> Noah just fell off in his chair almost. this is confirmation you must watch on YouTube because I just fell off my chair that was one of the slowest falls too and then you couldn't get did back Chase up did try and help me at first or no, no. wait what did you actually help me I don't think so. No, not, not right away. I thought you'd be able to do it yourself. I guess I didn't help you when you fell in Nick. I, I was scared off. you were about to put a hole in it. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. The Lord is in this here story. Okay. And let me tell you how. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Woo! So, some of the lyrics. There's torn up pages in this book. Words that tell me I'm no good. Chapters that define me for so long. But the hands of grace and endless love dusted off and picked me up. Told me... Told my heart that hope is never gone. And the chorus goes, God is in this story. God is in the details, even in the broken parts. He holds my heart. He never fails. When I'm at my weakest, I will trust in Jesus. Always in the highs and lows, the one who goes before me, God is in this story. And then just the second verse I really like too. So if the storm you're walking through feels like it's too much and you wonder if he cares at all, well, hold on tight to what you know. He promised he won't let you go. Your son of healing's written in his scars. Um, so Chase, surprise. <clears throat> Thank yes. you for being surprised. So this week I sent oh. out some <clears throat> messages to some of our top fans mm-hmm. and people who listened to see just things that they, um, remembered or what they, um, thought memorable from the last year of podcast. Mm-hmm. And so I was getting some of those in and then that's kind of when this came into play. Um, and so like the common thread from all we've gotten to hear is that God's in the story. So I feel like it's a good theme for our pod, um, just that we get to hear God's story through different people. Um, so don't snoop here, but <laughs> <laughs> a good one to start with. Here's some of the fan favorites. Jimmy, I texted him this long message share with, and he sent me back. Obviously eating Oreos. Yep. <laughs> that was his favorite moment. So cheers to Jimmy. Here, and I'll you give fell you. Over. No, you have all of that. No, you, you worked hard for okay, it. Okay, I did. You're right. But I won't eat it right now because I'm talking. Um, Derek Mills, and you're going to have to say part of this. Oh, the only okay. thing he could think of is when we were dressed, I dressed up as Woody, and Chase said that you looked very... Did it eat that Didi Dodo? Unreal. <laughs> <laughs> Derek loved that part. Um, <clears throat> then, wow, there's a lot on there. There's a lot. Matt Stone said, I don't oh. have any favorite moments from spending time with you goons. <laughs> Oh, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> but then he said, no, he we was. all know what's the best moment. It's when Trevor thought it would be best to overshare with you guys, and unbeknownst to me, from our precious memories together. <laughs> <laughs> Referring to a rest stop that he had to... Bathroom story. Yeah, <laughs> which me and Trevor visited on our trip out to Gillette on the way did back. Did they close it down? No, but they did put up a sign. If there are issues with this bathroom, please ring this bell. <laughs> there was this picture of Matt and it said, do you know this man? <laughs> uh, Trev said he couldn't think of a specific favorite, but it was fun sitting with us, recounting the goodness of God together. What am, what Dylan Colbo said, I think his favorite episode was Joyce, oh. um, mm. reminiscing about quilt ministry and past times. He also loved Lila's sweet testimony. And who cannot mention the setup Matt walked into with questions from Kelsey and Joe? <laughs> <laughs> um, I think this is funny because when you were talking about saving, why do you keep snooping here? I just want to see. <laughs> no, I'll tell it to you. It'll be more real. Um, when you were talking about taking all the memories, Casey said, hmm, that's tough because I have the memory of an infant. 
Um, <laughs> she said she was partial to her daughter, of course, but if she had to expand, she loved the age variety of the guests, which I thought has been cool. Yeah. And um, knowing them personally, it's fun to hear in the interview setting. Um, and Joyce is coming to mind, as I just love Joyce, which we all do. Yes. Um, she also she's going to have a birthday coming up. Yeah, February. Yeah, and I mm, we were February. just saying that she's going to be 88. Yeah. That's crazy that to me. That is crazy. Crazy. Yeah. Hopefully that she, she still climbs that. ladders on her Christmas tree to She went it. out in her backyard this last week, threw all the snow to see if her vents were clean when I said I would come out I know. that day. I know. Like mm. four feet of snow. Yeah. And like, she was yeah. shoveling and she knows yeah, better. It's crazy. <laughs> she needs to watch out for that midlife crisis. <laughs> <laughs> right? Maybe she'll buy a horse. <laughs> well, she bought a saw this last year, yes, so that's her. two of them. And I called Noah, and I said, Noah, that's ridiculous. Grandma Joyce cannot have two saws. She's going to hurt herself. And then she was, yeah, she loves us, but she was yeah. like, Marcy, you tattled on me. And yes, I did. I don't care. You, you Noah will come trim your branches. That's amazing. It wasn't a huge saw. No, but, but she got two saw. of them. Yeah, Enough I think one she, damage. yeah. Anyways, uh, Casey also said she liked telling the story with Jimmy. It reminds me of him being my best friend and how much I love doing life with him. Mm. Isn't that sweet? Mm, that yeah. is sweet. I just said, aw. Um, <laughs> Lila's favorite moment was the confetti cannons, yeah. which I don't know if we ever told, but she's like, I liked having to wait in... Uh, either it was either in my room or the bathroom while well, you, Noah, and Bailey watched videos to see if it was actually safe or not. Because we <laughs> didn't know. Sure. I bought these huge confetti cans and we're like... Guys, it said something about like flammable on there or something. Oh. So we had to watch a video to try and make sure that it was safe. Yeah, because you might have to find your own place if you <laughs> burn the basement. And there's still confetti <laughs> on that. I just leave it there on the picture frame. Yeah, on the bottom oh, right corner. Bottom yeah. right corner, there's one piece left. I remember Chase instantly leaving and us having to clean up all the confetti. <laughs> yeah. I was busy, bro. <laughs> yeah, whatever. I had to go to Sioux Falls, I think. <laughs> 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 oh. So now this is where it really started to hit me as I was listening to this song. And I got a few specific ones. Uh, and responses and about the impact that some of the episodes have had. So Caleb Dykstra, our oh, very own, who just today released dude, his song. Maker of my heart. Oh, Listen my to days. It. Listen to Caleb this Dykstra. song. It's on all major platforms. It is really so good. good. Maker of my days. Have you listened to it yet? Maker of my heart. Maker of my heart. That's what I said. You said days. <laughs> <laughs> maker of my heart. He also is the maker of our days. Yeah, so. thank you for coming to my rescue. So Caleb said... Um, and be, he first shares about season two because he forgot that both seasons were in one year, which is crazy too. The One of the most impactful moments for him was hearing Severin's testimony, seeing the redemptive nature of our God. Mm -hmm. uh, he also loved the vulnerability of Matt Stone's story. Katesia's episode had him snort laughing while he listened to it on a plane ride. <laughs> and Nick Medema's episode had me saying amen to the truth bombs he was dropping about Christian music. <laughs> so, <laughs> amen. Oh, yeah, it's up there from Seb's episode. <laughs> uh, but then uh, back to season one. I really love the boldness of Lila speaking on a hard topic of anxiety. That was really a big encouragement to me. Then I really liked Bailey and Joyce's episodes because they had two different passions, Bitcoin and quilting. And they took what they were passionate about. And it's really cool because you came on Joyce's episode too with the quilt she made you. Um, and how they found that they can point others to Jesus with their passions and gifts. Um, I like that. My That's friend so uh, Jessica, who is going to nursing school in, I think, Fargo. Or in North oh, Dakota. Um, Gosh, dude. So she said, um, and this is where I got this one and Nathan's that I'll share. Um, Colopy? Colopy, okay. our great, great founder. <laughs> Almost That's committed close. a heresy there. <laughs> um, this left me a little bit in some tears of joy and thankfulness. So Jessica, Jesse said, um, I really like listening to Lila's episode, being in nursing school and about to start a nursing career, seeing anxiety and other mental health conditions. It's made me realize the importance of it and uh, seeing amazing people at the hospital, including myself and my friends who turn to the Bible during these times when they are feeling anxious or depressed, when they need some sort of direction or encouragement that you can get from the Bible. She felt that episode stuck out because it was relatable and raw in emotion, uh, how at such a young age she can give her heart to God and feel you don't see that anymore in younger people and kids as much. Nathan's favorite episodes were the ones with Jimmy and Casey and Lila, exactly what he needed at that time. And he's still clinging to what Lila said. All we have to do is a simple wait, simple thing, wait. He said he can't remember if it was in the podcast, but it's his favorite quote of the year. Hmm. Um, so it is not a direct quote from the podcast. Um, but I have a note here that um, has been special to me. After we recorded and Chase bailed on us picking up confetti. Um, keep, keep saying that over and After Chase bailed <laughs> on us in our hour of need with the millions of pieces of confetti. I forgive you. That's okay. Do you? It Do you gave me you? the opportunity. Do you um, think you've recounted? I forgive you. I, I don't think there were Thanks for forgiving. Um, she had her notes on the... 
table and saw being the snoop that i am i was just looking at him and uh i'm like way to go i know um <laughs> at first i was just like trying to pick up papers i'm mm. like i wonder if it's something that we need or whatever mm-hmm. and um and so then i read it and so of course being a 10 year old on a podcast is a lot of you know pressure i mean i yeah would not be able even to hard for lila too <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ten year old on the podcast. It's you. What? Me? Yeah, mentally. Okay, yeah, fine. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna read she said this was okay. Um what she wrote out as part of her testimony. I've seen that, that in your bathroom, isn't all. it? In your bathroom. Yeah, it's on the mirror. Yeah. Because I enjoy looking. So this is a part what I shared to Nathan because he was going through some hard things when he was back. So it says, um, I was anxious because I don't like the thought of dying or getting sick. And at that point too, my great grandma had passed away. So it was hard because that was the exact thing I was scared of at that point. So that boosted, which I think it's supposed to be bolstered my anxiety, but boosted, we can create new words. So maybe, and this part is uh, unreal to me. So maybe God gave me anxiety for a purpose to let me grow closer to Jesus. So I was about five when I said, mom, can I pray? And that's when I let Jesus in my heart. And when COVID hit, I had to rely on him to comfort me, protect me. I couldn't just say to my strength, protect me, guard my heart. I know that would fail me right away. Where God, on the other hand, would answer my prayers at the right time, even if it meant waiting, like how we prayed for my siblings in Haiti. God answered our prayers, but guess what? It took six, now on to eight years for us to get that approval to be able to meet with our kids. And all we had to do was a simple thing, wait. Wow, you know what? You're going to, you don't even have tissues. I know. I, I'm, I'm, not going to cry, start, I'm not going to cry on, on my first <laughs> um, time to fame on real television. Yeah. I mean, podcast. Man. But, so, wow. um, in, in my mind, that needs to be published somewhere yeah. for uh-huh. more people to read. I agree. Um, and so, you know, the last couple months um, has been, you know, so Psalm 145 is when I got to read with Lila. Um, and hearing that song this week and then just hearing like Nathan and, and other people, like how that episode impacted them, like, you know, grown adults. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, you, you know, this year teaching fifth grade and getting to see her and see her grow in her faith um, has just been, you know, all the episodes have been special because it's people who are in my life. Um, who have, you know, Jimmy and Casey have been impactful in my life, Trevor, you know, Joyce, all these people, uh, which I feel like sometimes I get a, you know, a little bit over you because all That's these okay. people who have been in my life the whole time, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, but then getting to do one with someone who I get to be in their life uh, and see her grow um, was super special. And um, so I was just thinking, you know, that, I mean, it sounds cliche, but, you know, that God gives each of us a story to share um, and we get to be a part of that. And, um, you know, in our week, maybe our weaknesses really do give us strength. Um, and maybe sharing that and being vulnerable and, uh, you know, just admitting it and being honest and open. Um, Mm -hmm. not that it makes any easier and not that life gets easier and it doesn't. And I've seen that as well, but, uh, you know, for her as a 10 year old to have a honest and open conversation about anxiety and about how God has, has gotten her through that, um, you know, for all of us to be able to share our story with others, mm-hmm. uh, I think it's cool. And uh, so I hope people are able to continue to listen to the podcast. And, and you know, our goal, I mean, we have fun falling over in our chairs. And, you know, uh, Andrew texted right before that he liked the part with your ins- ice cream incident where you were choking on ice cream. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. And I didn't help you at all either. I hey, that's made funny. you continue to ask questions. It was funny. Um, it was. <laughs> but really, and we pray before each podcast that they would be impactful. And um, so... I made it through that. I didn't know if I would or not, but I didn't this week at school in the morning when I got those couple of texts and had listened to that song and to take a moment for myself. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but so it uh, is making a difference. And, uh, you know, so Lila Goodwords, one of the favorite moments from season one, first year. Wow. She's so wise. <laughs> I know. We should get her yeah. like a trophy. Very, we should. Uh do you think she'd like that? Uh, uh, maybe. She maybe. Like trophies? You know oh, more than I do. But <laughs> the biggest surprise I have, you're going to love this. Okay, so I have a it's book. It's not a trophy. No. I have a book at school, and um, it's called Who Would Win? It's all, like Christopher Columbus, all these different famous people. Mm-hmm. And then in the middle, um, and it gives them um, points for their different attributes. And then in the middle, you pick out who would win at ping pong, who would win at karaoke, things like that. I have a who would win. Who's a better podcaster, Noah or Chase? Ooh. Did so you we have, have your whoa, kids whoa, whoa. categories of wealth. Hey, who made those? <laughs> wealth, fitness, wisdom, bravery, artistum, 
Artist, which is a new word. What is that? Like artist, like yeah. tree. Yeah, it's art, like being crafty. Leadership or? and intelligence. We tie at wealth as a six. I have a ten of fitness, and who, Chase who, is a five. Who, who did this? <laughs> Lila, okay, I'll take it, I'll take it. She's right on the fitness. Yeah. Wisdom, I agree. I have a seven, you have an eight. Bravery, oh, I have Are all t- of these out of ten? Yeah, out of ten. Oh, okay. Bravery, I have a ten, you have a six. I take I that. Spe- I That's asked true. specifically, she said, the thing that came to mind is when you couldn't uh, handle the why, like, you were like, oh! Handle the what? With the uh, double jointedness stuff. Yeah. Oh, her arm. <laughs> yeah. And I'm it's like, to be creepy. fair, I had already seen it, but artist and we both have a five. That's fair because I don't know that either of us. I'll take there. a five. I was. I was Leadership. I, was I have a zero. an eight. You have a seven. And intelligence. I'll take a seven. I have a nine. You have a ten. Ooh. So who do you think would win, Mars? Better podcaster. She wouldn't decide. I'm like. I'm just. Lila, pick right I'm just now. stuck on the we fact that she pick. gave we... you a ten for fitness. Do you work out? It doesn't. <laughs> I didn't think so. He and he eats form. Oreos. <laughs> like those are. Have you looked at the back? I do play soccer. Well, you do too. Yeah. I mean, you can't. How many Oreos? Looking at the physical. Man looks at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks Lila at the heart. Lila looks at the outward appearance. <laughs> but she I also looks at the heart so. in the other ones. No, well, she doesn't. We're probably like making her feel bad now. No, no. Lila, this is great. This is, you did yeah, it. I love, I love her drawing. Making yeah, people at, choose She made us this. I don't greater. know if we talked about this yet, but a Oh, I, I was wondering, yeah. yeah. I'll give her artist for his... Uh, I'd say a 10. But she also Artistum dated it, which makes nine? me... Two. That's really I'm just kidding. Yeah, nine or 10. No, she did pretty good, though. Yeah, right? Nice work, Lila. Yeah. I'm just still stuck on the fitness because you eat Oreos. I'm not talking yeah, about Chase. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm talking about you because she knows my fives earned. <laughs> I'm just wondering about yeah. Well deserved. <laughs> I fought hard for it. No, though she gave you a ten for bravery. Yeah. What, what brave things have you done? Saved her life. Oh, I d- I beg to differ with that. Have Ask you- the one whose life has been saved. I just think she can't remember because she was choking. And That's we, true. Why like, do we have the same exactly. exactly. um, Whatever. I think, God. well, because well, okay, fair. Noah <laughs> doesn't really, he just thinks he came She's to the rescue. She's in group. Uh, I yelled Jimmy. And I yelled I, Jimmy. We, no, we both did. See, that could be fair, see. but I know I did too. <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm not saying you didn't see yelled fine. Jimmy. It's I just fine. like how there's okay. a battle I'm, between I'm we, the one We don't need to argue on real television. I mean, podcast, YouTube. I'm going to be famous from this. As long as Lila Let her story. analyze, okay? okay. Let no, her it's, analyze. It's fine. No, you did, yeah. She did a good job. She pretty yeah. hit it on the nose. The fitness gets me, and now I'm going to be stuck on the bravery. But you guys are both very cute. Yeah, she made the logo pretty good. Yeah, you guys look very nice. Yeah. Who's better? She started to do your beard and took it away. But I also had some. Uh, yeah. I take it away chip. all the time. I had too, some cookie so. and cream pancake on my face earlier. Yeah, hold on. Can I see my? Yes, of the course. Go ahead. And, yeah. What is that? Do I have a mole give you on a my mustache. face? Oh, she was gonna. Yeah. yeah. Mustache beard and then. Okay. Didn't. But we also got uh, laser eye surgery, so we no longer need glasses. Oh. Which is great. Yeah. Oh no! Put those back. Yeah. <laughs> no, it was really good. No, she did. I thought that was great. So that is nice my way to add to your... Who's better, though? I don't know. I mean, it's kind of very comparable. <laughs> we make... It's like... Batman I mean, because here, no, well, you, you both are sick. Six. You both are, yep. like, you both are wealthy. Okay, let's add the accumulated score. Oh, yeah, score. maybe... So and then you should... 20, 35, 49, 54. So remember, minus is You're going to win. You have higher numbers. Yeah, because he has two tens. <laughs> 10, 18, That's 24, 20. 30, 47. Not... Forty-seven to one. And then we'll, we'll add a bias oh. weight to this. And That's add not 10 terrible. <laughs> Noah, quickly do the math. Forty-seven. Seven. Whatever. Okay, this is only seven difference. Okay, and then adding the bias weight, With so I six. get plus ten on mine. No, it's plus six. No, I get plus ten on plus mine. Plus six. So you, she didn't come out and say that you were better when I asked. Mm-hmm. Either, so. mm-hmm. No, she or didn't say. <laughs> but then she didn't say Noah was better either. Okay, no. okay, okay. Yeah, I'll still take the. I plus think she's thing. saying both no, of you, you are great it. in different ways. Yep. Hey, I think it's a real throw that you got wisdom and intelligence. And I agree. Uh, yeah, I mean. Like, the only thing I got was fitness, which is, you know, and leadership. I don't even bravery. see a treadmill Artistism. Here. Okay, let's forget the fitness thing. Leadership. And you win by two. Or I win by two. <laughs> I win by two. <laughs> I'll take that. All okay. Right. Noah always uh, tries to win. <laughs> yeah, it's, kind of, it's been, been a real win. strain on our relationship. It's been a strain. Yeah, there are moments I just say, don't let it get to his head. <laughs> <laughs> I know, like the card from VBS this summer. Yes, yes, yes. Or like I, when he saved Lila's life almost. I, I mean, I, I wish we had. To be uh, yeah, I, yeah, we just need to have. So do Mormons. God come down and tell us exactly what happened the night of VBS when <laughs> Lila was choking on the sucker. Did it was at Awana, so there, I got you. It's Wednesday night. Did I say VBS? Yeah. 
Oh, well, it I was went a back and found white it, though, table, in my and they were journal. round. Uh oh, we were playing. Details. We were playing Hangman. I you were playing student. Hangman, and it was, it was only a cherry your... sucker that I gave. What was yes, it was a sucker. I said that. Yeah, it was the Hangman, but word. it was cherry. I don't. Remember. I don't. Because I was too busy saving me. Lila. Mm. <laughs> I patted her on the back once, and then we may have both yelled for Jimmy. Yeah. He came down the stairs and right in the door. I'm like Jimmy, and then he came. So you punched Lila violently. While she was trying was going to get up. Jimmy, no, she probably went no, to get yeah, Jimmy we out. probably. I think one of us. I, I did not. I did, did not give her the Heimlich because those emergency <laughs> situations. Yeah, they no, freaked me out. But I was Jimmy getting in, but, help. Yeah. It was a yeah. team effort. Yeah. Good job, yeah. Okay, yeah. So while we, she was getting help, you were beating Lila up. So can you tell Lila <laughs> that I also was a part of it? Because I don't Lila, think she remembers that. Well, she was choking, so she probably doesn't remember much. This was a detrimental part to her life, and we're just fighting over the details. I feel like she was in first grade, though. She yes. was little. She was like seven. It was about first grade because yeah. it was because they're only in my Sparks group, kindergarten through second grade. Yes, and it was that second year. Yeah, yeah. So. And then we were, were and we were the, not leaders first... with you. Oh, you weren't. You were in cubbies. Yeah, still we were cubbies okay. then. Wow. Yes, because yeah. we had little. We and they don't do cubbies anymore. No. Yeah. Yeah. We won't get into that. Yeah, that's fine. I love that, that's fine. I love siding with. So that was just against me. Thank you for being on my team. Noah has enough people on his team. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, so anyway. I thought, wasn't that cool? Yeah. Yeah. Very much enjoyable. Yeah. So. All right. Now read your title again of the song. Um, God is in this story. Yeah, that's good. So that was really good. Yeah. I shared it with you the other day and you said it was really good. And so give it a listen and uh, we'll include it in the link. And uh, so. Cool. Yeah. Okay, Mars. We're at so, 94 minutes. That's yeah, fine. but there's some time in there from the... Yeah, remember that technical glitch. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So faith fosters family. So we heard about how your faith and Nate's faith has grown um, along with you. But uh, so f- story of foster care, how does that enter your guys' life and journey? Okay. So, well, you're gonna, I hope you have a lot of time. <laughs> so in one of our many adventures, the Hoffman family... So Nate is one of four boys. And so... We try to do adventures. We've gone to Omaha. We have not gone to Fargo, though. Wapaton is where one of his brothers mm-hmm. lives. I used to live there, too. Yeah, and wow. we, I, said, I said Omaha. We went yep. to Minneapolis. Yep. So I think our, like, curiosity or God, like, placing little, like, drops mm-hmm. as we went. We went to the Mall of America, and in, like, see, I'm, I'm not very good at this. Nate, where are you? <laughs> anyway, there's, like, a... Place where they give like a presentation. Yeah, yeah. It was Faith to Foster was the name of the book, um, which wow. is kind of funny because you said her song. Read, say the song again. God I, is in the story. Yeah, I'm pretty yeah. sure it's Faith to Foster. Like I want to hand you my phone so you can scroll to find the book that I read. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure it's called Faith to Foster. Maybe. Go for it. Technical difficulties here again. I read it this last year in my. Mm. What? <laughs> Just keeping myself busy. Okay, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Just a second. You have to go to the read section of your Goodreads. Maybe I shouldn't read so many books. No, reading's good. Reading's reading is good. good. We talked about that earlier. Yep. Yeah, reading is good. We great. don't want too much silence to pass. If I can't find it quickly, then I will move on. But I'm pretty sure it was called Faith to Foster. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I'm getting close. I'm getting close. Yes. yes Faith is. to Foster. Whoa. Foster. Uh, yep, Faith to Foster. And it is wow. written by a couple in Minnesota. Oh, whoa. Um, Were and, they the ones talking then? Uh, yeah. Like, so it, it, she, he was in the military. She was a stay-at-home mom. And they grew their family through foster care. Whoa. Taking kids in, not all of them. Or stayed forever. Some went in and out and so forth. Mm-hmm. Um, so that was the book that kind of like planted the first seed. And then Nate and I have had to try kids on our own. And that just isn't something that God has given us. Um, we don't plan to find out why. We just trust him. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I went and volunteered one summer at Royal Family Kids Cl- um, Royal Family Kids Camp. And it's through the Brandon one. So if you don't know me, a lot of times people will ask me things, and then I kind of don't know what I'm saying yes to. I just say yes to it. Mm. So like when Noah asked me to do VBS crafts, and I said <laughs> yes, and I really don't know what I'm doing, uh, someone came and said, hey, would you like to listen to um, my sister is kind of in charge of Royal Family Kids Camp. They're needing some volunteers. It's not a lot, blah, 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 blah. Um, I went, and I was like, okay, I'm going. And it's a week-long camp for kids who are in foster care, and they go to a 
area. It's not known by anybody, safety of the kids, mm -hmm. and they're there for a week. They go to camp, they do camp things, they have Bible stories, and they have um, worship time, and they're learning about Jesus, and they're just being kids. All of the baggage is left at home, and they're just getting to be kids. So I did that for two summers, but the first summer I did it for a week, I came home and I was like, oh my goodness, like, I, I need to know why, like, I need, I need to know why, like, foster care and people being foster parents and things like that, I don't really know about it in Madison. So my brother-in-law is a police officer, and he told me the truth. He said, a lot of times we do, we, if we don't have foster families to give them to, we try to work and help parents so that they can keep their kids and they don't have to remove them, which I'm like, oh my goodness, like, I can be a foster parent, like, I, I can be it. So I looked at Nate and I said, we're going to be foster parents. And Nate was like, oh my goodness, no, we're not going to do that. <laughs> and he was, he wasn't hesitant about the fact that he was, he was just like, I don't know, what if I'm not a good parent? What if I don't know what to do or and things mm. like that? Um, I hope I can say that. I wish he were here. He needs to come to these things. <laughs> but anyway, so very, he, he's very considerate about wanting to. Yeah. He, he's all, he's always very cautious and mm -hmm. he, he's the logical thinker. I'm the one who just does it because I want to do it and because <laughs> I, I feel like that's what we should do. Like, yeah. and, and I just jump in two feet without all, all the time thinking. Mm -hmm. So anyway, um, we signed up to be foster parents and we are our area. So anybody who would want to ever be a foster parent, our Lake County area is associated with Brookings. So Deb Riley is our main lady um, and she is in uh, Brookings. And so we signed up for the classes and you go for a like, about six to eight weeks class. You go once a week. Happened to find out the Schuberts also were in our class, and we had no idea that mm. both of us had the desire to want to be foster parents and be foster parents at the same time. So we started to go to the classes together, and it is a process. It probably takes an entire year. Um, and so we did that. We did all of the classes. We did everything that we were supposed to do, and then we waited for a call. And that waiting time was like the hardest thing ever because I am the person who jumps in with two feet. Nate is the logical thinker. He thinks about what would be best for us. He's He is wise. I would definitely say that he is wise. So we get the very first call. It is the pandemic. It mm -hmm. is we are at home doing school. We don't know what is happening with COVID. We don't know any of that. We are asked to take five kids. Oh. And, and I remember like... I called Casey. I called Grandma Joyce. Everybody told me, Marcy, you need to be wise. But, like, I was literally crushed when we had to say no because, like, my heart was so badly wanting to bring queens into our home because mm. I know that there is a need. I know that there is so many hurting kids, and there are so many hurting parents, too. Mm. Like, we were taught in all of our classes that reunification is the purpose for foster care. And we respect that. We understand that. And their sin is real. Sin is real and it is happening. And those who are in addiction or get into their dark holes mm -hmm. can't always get out. And so um, when we said no to to that call, I was crushed. Like, I'm like, we're never going to get a call again. They're not going to call us again because we said no. They did call and call and call and call. And once we knew what the pandemic was like, I really had to think about Nate um, and his health. And we waited. And I think God was working in my heart. Actually, I know God was mm. working in my heart to prepare me to be patient. Mm. Because then in August of 2021, we get a call needing, oh my goodness, it gives me goosebumps, mm -hmm. needing a home for two little girls. The only reason we were going to say no is if we couldn't find daycare. Daycare in Madison is a huge, mm. hard thing. There needs to be more daycare ladies. So all of you listening who need to would love to be take care ladies start one please because we need more daycare anyway that would be the only reason we said no so they give you a list it has to be state certified and we went through the list and we found the daycare that the girls currently go to and she said you're not going to believe this we have two spots available and i said okay god's telling us these girls need to be in madison um for t one night for a week for the rest of our lives. And um, we said yes. I remember panicking 
the people that I go to, Grandma Joyce and Casey, I call them up. I'm like, what do I do? I've never been a mom before in my entire life. And we flipped our house upside down. We drove across the state to uh, Vivian, and we picked up two girls. And this last summer, we made them officially Hoffmans. Um, in the same year that the Schuberts officially. Also, also said to mm-hmm. their two that made them officially Schuberts. And we went out there just recently to Rapid City and watched that happen. Mm. They came with us um, and watched our, our girls. So that is, yeah, that's a good point to bring up because we took the classes together. We walked alongside of each other. We adapted. And, yeah, now we're still doing life together. Mm. Their five-year-old and my four-year-old are best friends. Mm. And so... It's wonderful to see God work. And so, yeah, you said you asked um, the journey to foster care. God was in it every mm-hmm. single step of the way. And we had many moments of thinking, like, let me backtrack a little bit. So we were told that the girls would stay with us until they were adopted. Um, they were n- looking for some kin uh, to adopt mm-hmm. them. And I remember us being told that we wouldn't be an option. And I remember wanting to say so badly to that social worker, "Um, you don't know my God. (laughs) If he wants them to stay here, they will stay here. And that's what he did. Um, Mm. And so he has been through it. Yeah. Each and every step of the way. And we still get calls. Um, I got a call today. Um, Yeah. We wouldn't have been able to add three under the age of four to our our family Mm. at this time, but we are not done fostering. Mm. Um, We re we have renewed our license and we just continue to wait mm. um, until God tells us that it is the right yes. Mm-hmm. Which, yeah, a lot of times we pray about it. A yeah. lot of times we think of, think really hard. And Nate, being the logical one, he kind of reminds us of how many car seats we have and how many beds we have and the space mm. and things like that. And do we need to just focus on our two right now? Or do we mm-hmm. include more mm. into the equation? So, mm. did I answer your question? Yeah. 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 Good. Very <laughs> sufficiently, actually. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I did the process. Mm-hmm. Oh, highs and lows. So good. Oh, I guess I did answer some highs I mean, and yeah, lows. No, yeah. It was, that yeah. was really yeah. good. It, it, yeah, you... It's been fun to watch you yeah. guys. And uh, yeah. Yeah, and we we were we had no idea what it was like to be parents. Like, mm. even now, we will still talk about like we were really naive. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we like it really like it gave me a whole new pre- appreciation for parents mm. and what parents go through. And last year, there were many times of I literally had to get down on my hands and knees mm. and thank God and ask God to be with me because we did. We had a very tough year. Mm-hmm. Um, we brought in two girls. Uh, we got every sickness under the book. <laughs> like, I didn't even know what hand, foot, and mouth was. Like, we got that. Like, we had RSV. We had stomach bug. Then we got COVID. And mm-hmm. I remember, I, I can empathize empathize, empathize mm-hmm. with Lila mm-hmm. about the fear of the pandemic. We were so, so careful, and we still got We still got COVID. Mm -hmm. Our whole family got COVID. Nate got pneumonia. We spent the whole month of January Mm -hmm. in our house. Um, But God was there. He Mm -hmm. brought people to drop off soup. He had people who were texting. Like, he is there even when what we think at that very moment is probably the worst of the worst, and I'm never going to get out of my house. Mm -hmm. Like, things like that. Mm -hmm. So God, God was there. He was there when our paperwork didn't go right and... Yeah, we didn't know what we were going to do, and yeah, he yeah he was there. He was there when the family that they found said, I want to hear about you. I want to know about you and Nate. I want to know if you're a good fit. And this woman is a grandma to our kids, and we talk to her, and, and we send her videos and things like that. But she felt in her heart that she wasn't able to at this time take the girls. And so that opened a door for us. And mm-hmm. yeah, just the way God worked and opened all of the doors. And yeah. And so I have brought her shirt. Yes. Hoffman forever. I was going to wear, you know, it's really hard to decide what to wear on your podcast. <laughs> like I asked Nate like 700 times, do I need to be like teacher fancy or can I wear my shirt? But then he's like, well, what if Noah's basement's cold? And then you have to wear long sleeves. And, and so, but yes, I brought our forever Hoffman's yes. and grandma Joyce blessed her threw us mm-hmm. a party yep. and yeah, that was awesome. we yeah. went to her house and yeah, 
Mm. So like, yes, mm-hmm. we've seen God work and we have seen God work and in investing in our girls' lives. Mm-hmm. Like we, we, yeah, there are many, many people in our mm. church, in our town who love our girls as much as we do. So, mm. yeah. And it's not easy, but you know, God will see us through. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Cool stuff. That's good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And our girls are very proud to be Hoffman. Yeah, they and, are. And as always, anyone who has ever adopted, they will always... I, mm-hmm. I mean, I, I am their second mom. Mm-hmm. So we pray often for their biological mom and dad um, that they will make good choices. Mm. And who knows what God will do? He may open a door that the girls get to meet them someday. Yeah. Maybe he will close it. He's, he's in charge and we are not. Mm-hmm. So it, it's good to... We've been humbled. Yeah. Yeah. We've been humbled to seeing what God does. Yeah. 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 A lot that we don't know. A lot Mm -hmm. that Mm -hmm. we just have to rely on him for. Mm -hmm. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah. So we'll let that lead into kind of the last thing with that, how it has fostered your family. I mean, you've talked about it uh, quite a bit just with uh, church family and, you know, Nate has a big family. Yes, um, yes. I you know, I have a have, brother, I mean, yep. but we just live a little bit further away from right. from my family. Right. So, mm-hmm. yeah. And uh, so how um, how has how have you seen like this grow both your you know, you and Nate and then your guys' families and church family? Like just that whole process Absolutely. a little bit. It's, which you've talked about a little bit. Well already, that's but. okay. Um what comes to mind is like you I want to say this the right way, um, and and I'll do my very best because God will speak through me. But um, when you take kids into care, there's always that possibility of them going somewhere else, mm-hmm. whether they go back to their their biological parents or if they get moved to a different. And so my parents in particular, and I think maybe Nate's parents too, um, feared what if we became attached and then we had to say goodbye. Mm-hmm. Um, so. At first, that was really hard for everybody because they they wanted to love them, you know, but then also kind of were shielded in a sense because I don't want to say goodbye because that creates hurt. Mm -hmm. You know, that's hard to do. Um, And so since, like, the adoption, it's it's been neat to see, like, even from the time we took the girls in until they were adopted, like, how God just kind of chips away at those emotions, those feelings Mm -hmm. of... I'm going to get hurt. It it maybe takes it off of me, and really focuses on the girl, girls and God. Mm-hmm. You know, he he is in control of that, and yeah. Mm-hmm. So so yeah, yeah we ha- I mean, great. we have many people who were a little bit hesitant at first, and mm. then yeah, and it is it is different. It, I mean, unless yeah, unless you've been through it, you really don't. Yeah, it, it's yeah. I don't mm-hmm. know if I have mm-hmm. the right words for that, but yep. yeah, it's we sh- we're shielding like people shield themselves. They don't want to, yeah, be vulnerable. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah. Um, uh, what did you even ask me? I kind of went on a rabbit trail, but then I can't remember. I'm trying to go how back. Have it fostered your family. Yeah. Together. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Um, do you have any questions or anything to add about the specific foster care stuff? No, not about like the the process or anything. Uh, okay. So, I love right what I love how, about this podcast is that uh, we've gone however long uh, into it, and we've only made a small comment about your career as a teacher. Oh. So just hit on it for me, what it's like being a teacher, some of that. Okay. How All you right. got into that? Why you wanted to? I just wanted to hear a little bit because I don't. Yeah, know Yeah, absolutely. Mm. So. <laughs> what you do, how long you've done it. Why right now, it. my position is I am a 6 through 12 special education teacher. I have kids basically from, I think, depending when your birthday falls, you're 12 years old all the way up until age 21. Um, kids with disabilities who are on an IEP can stay on their IEP until they're 21. So I am that. That's me. <laughs> so I, I have middle school and high school students. I have a great class. Like I... Like, I didn't always think I was going to teach middle school, high school. Actually, in fact, I remember saying to God, I'm never teaching middle school. But he <laughs> he is good when he shows you what he wants to do, not yeah. what Marcy wants to do. Uh-huh. Um, becoming a teacher was extremely hard. I came from Hill City to DSU. Um, I knew I wanted to go to a school that wasn't 
Black Hill State University because that's where everyone in my class went. So I was torn between Aberdeen and DSU and I chose DSU not because they had the logo technically better, <laughs> but because they sold or marketed technology in the classroom. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to be up to date. I wanted to be the, the most... I guess, educated teacher I could be, and technology was a big thing at that time. Okay. So I came to DSU not knowing that I would finish my career at DSU and marry Nate and live in Madison, and I will probably live in Madison my entire life. Though Nate will sometimes say, you know, we can go anywhere. We don't mm -hmm. have to stay in Madison, but, like, this is home. Like, mm -hmm. I, I feel like if I had to go and move, I would miss this because this mm -hmm. is home. So... Mm -hmm. Anyway, I went to DSU. I had a very difficult time um, getting to be a teacher because they require so many standardized tests of mm -hmm. you, and I just am terrible at standardized tests. Um, and so I think that's what makes me an okayish teacher because I can empathize with kids who struggle. Mm -hmm. I struggled to become a teacher. Um, I took many different avenues. Um, I graduated in 2011 with a general studies in education, and if it wasn't for Casey giving my name to the SPED director at Madison Central, I probably would have moved home, and I probably wouldn't be here at this moment. Wow. But, but Casey gave my Crazy. name, and I became a one-on-one -on -one para for uh, a student, Allison, who goes to mm -hmm. our church, so I feel like I can say that. Yeah. I'll ask Jen later. She shouldn't be mad. Yeah. Um, but I worked with Allison for a couple of years, and then the teacher in my classroom retired and so I got pulled in by the principal and the sped director and they're like okay Marcy what are you going to do with your life and so I went back to DSU and I got my teaching certificate and then I student taught and was a para and ran the classroom and did all this crazy stuff for uh, after school program for a year and I don't know how I survived except for the grace of God <laughs> like God yeah. was the only one who got me through that because thinking about it now I'm like oh my goodness I was crazy like yeah. I was crazy to run an after school program be a classroom teacher student teach sleep <laughs> do morning care do all of the things that I did but it's only because of God mm -hmm. and God seeing me through that hurdle I guess um and then I became a teacher, and I've been in my position. I think this is my seventh year. Wow. I always wow. have to go back and look at my photos, and then it will tell mm -hmm. me the year, and then I add a, the next number. Yeah, and I do that. I just scroll <laughs> until I find my first day of, this, of the year picture, and then I'm like, okay, add one to that. That's however many years. Wow. And so I have taught in that position since. Mm. And so sometimes I toil around with maybe first grade. I don't know. Bless we'll see. your heart. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We'll see. I mean, yeah. But what I, I really do love. Fifth grade. Yep. You, your sweet spot is in yeah. fifth grade. Yeah. yeah. I do. I do love where I'm at. I really, mm -hmm. I, I get to do some really cool things. A yeah. lot of the things I teach are life skills. So we mm. do some cooking and yeah, we clean and we go around in the community and we mm -hmm. budget and do things like that. And then wow. we obviously take PE and health and yep. art and yeah. You, yeah. you were in school when I was yeah. a, a teacher, and yeah. you came into my classroom with a, a couple yep. of your classmates, and yeah. so you got to see firsthand yeah. what it was, what it's like. Yeah. In room That's... 504. <laughs> Stop by any time. Yeah. But it has B104. been... B-104. Uh, you're B-104. Really? <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. I know. Yeah. That is really cool. Wow. Yeah. yeah. I... But it has been interesting to have to balance... Being a mom, being a wife, mm. and being a teacher. That's a new so, one. That's, that's a yeah. new one. And yeah. nice that you got to balance the teacher for a Now, were you, so, yeah, how long were you teaching here before you and Nate got married? Or was it around the same? Okay, well, Nate and I got married I'm in 2016. And we'll be celebrating seven years in July. So and just shortly before or shortly after that you got your job here? Well, now Noah, I'm going to have I'm to sorry. scroll through all my pictures because dates are not <laughs> I'm great. I'm trying to think. Um, yeah, it's been a while. I have, well, I've been in the district 10 years because I got a certificate once. Sure, yeah, yeah. But I own, I think I've only been in my teaching, teaching profession seven. Sure. My very good friend, co-worker, Laura Bolt, also yep. keeps me on track. Sure. She tells me, Marcy, we went together at the same time and I'm on this year, so sure. you're on this year too. I feel like it's seven. Yeah. I feel like I want to call her and ask her, but that's okay. Sure, yeah. Yeah. So at least you got some time to. Yes, it wasn't I had all at once. Yes, or I had plenty either, of time know. to balance 
being a teacher, like teacher marry kids all yes. within a, yeah. because you know, but being a, a teacher big, yeah. in special education also it's comes with lots lot of paperwork of, lot, and um, lots of I don't envy you there yeah, but yeah lots of paperwork and lots of planning and things like I that do, I do not complain at different meetings and stuff because I'm like I only have one or two you know yes they have to do all of them in the meetings and the schedules and stuff mm -hmm. and so yeah and you have to remember yeah. a lot of things and a yeah. lot yeah, yeah. But and then there's laws and stuff that are yes really more so than the general ed teacher has to keep in mind on a daily basis yes and so i'm very grateful for my sped director mm -hmm. she knows it all yeah. <laughs> she's wonderful yeah. yeah she does a really nice job yeah yeah so hmm. but yeah i i do enjoy yeah my job a lot do i think i'll teach forever i don't know we'll see never know you never know yeah. god will take me where he wants yeah. me yeah yeah, that's the same thing. I mean, as kind of as you were talking too, like, I don't know if I wouldn't have student taught with Casey, I don't know if I would be teaching right now, yeah. uh, to be honest. And uh, so that's cool how kind of that same. Yeah, I, yeah, I forever thank her for mm -hmm. at least giving my name because even if this is just a short part of my long story, mm -hmm. well, we're not guaranteed tomorrow, like yep. you said. So, yeah, I feel yep. like God has called me to be a teacher where I'm at, mm -hmm. like, he wants me to do what I'm doing there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm -hmm. That's good soup. Mm -hmm. Anything you got, buddy? I'm, I'm like the worst at formulating questions. What? I was just doodling. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. No. yeah. That just was taking good. it all in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was a fun. That was some, a some fun. First. <laughs> that was a fun. <laughs> fun. I, it, this episode will throw you out of your chair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Literally. Yeah. yeah. I also mm. grew up in Aberdeen, Northern. where Northern's at. Oh, okay. So I, I there's went another there. connection. Well, yeah. and I went Just there, <laughs> and they had Central. a lot of snow. And I remember we stayed in the Super 8. I have uh -huh. a terrible, like, it's not a bad thing, but I remember these weird details that are not relevant to anybody else. But, like, yeah, we stayed at the Super 8, mm -hmm. and the mound of snow was like so big that i'm like i don't know if i will trek across which yep. black hills weather is different than east river weather mm -hmm. yeah i mean i didn't know anything about wind and i didn't <laughs> know when you walk outside and it's so cold and you breathe in and your nostrils get stuck <laughs> together we don't experience yeah. that in the banana <laughs> belt mosquitoes. yeah we don't have mosquitoes and like if it snows a lot of times it's done by lunchtime whereas here we've had this snow for like seven years no did <laughs> you say banana outside. belt Banana belt, yes. You prophesied. He wrote earlier banana. I did. I wrote banana. Ah, <laughs> yes. Um, a wise, Bruh. a wise man that I worked with at the hotel in Hill City. He called where we live in the Black Hills the banana belt. Wow. Yeah. Never heard that. That's cool. Yeah. So I've always Me just said that. I just <laughs> banana. Unreal. Received that. Yeah. Just a yeah. Weird Isn't and, that something? And we did a recap today on some letters in my classroom. Uh -huh. And we use banana as, as an a, example. So there wow. has been a reason for banana. And to end our lunch, serve bananas. I've been eating bananas all week for lunch at work. He has. Oh. I bring oh. bananas. Oh, my gosh. He, man, I've, I've been preparing. The Lord jokes. has it's been the preparing little things. this week. Yeah. Little things. <laughs> oh, man. Mm. Yeah. I wish I could think of This pen is almost the color of a banana. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, you uh, I weren't know. able to <laughs> connect you. But I did bring my... Nine-year-old ban banana tinted cup. It <laughs> is banana tinted. This is when I started at the church, nine years ago or so. This styrofoam hey, cup. Hey, maybe I should have started a cup with all the years that I was like a teacher, or I lived right? in Madison for the dates. Yeah, isn't that cool? That is. So cool. I just I started twenty twenty-three, it. and it's pretty special. Yes. <laughs> a <laughs> challenge I have that I just thought of. For this week, we've started this in season two, Challenge for the Week. Oh. You, why are you surprised? No, I just I was just thought that was a really good challenge. Oh, okay, thank you. Uh, <laughs> my challenge for the week is for those listening to write down your story and testimony, oh. or at least think about it, um, and specifically relating to how God is in it. Because as you look back, it's yeah. a lot easier to see then maybe sometimes right in the moment of right now, how has God in this? But when you look yeah. back, I think it really helps put perspective on, oh, yeah. Um, and so I think at least think about your testimony story, but I do find there's some benefits of just writing down, even if it's short, you know, like we do the baptism booklets now. I mean, it's, yeah. you know, three paragraphs maybe. So it doesn't have to be long. I um, feel like when I was baptized, I need, we did that. Did but you? did we have, uh, see, because when I came to West Center, then I went through, that I'll, have to, I'll have to yeah. ask Justin if I did. I don't well, remember. Well, I can a look booklet. in my 
I don't know. Because, and you know, um, but were you baptized with the Shara the same day as the Shara? I almost feel like you were. And I think I it have. Been, it would have been in the summer. I'll look because I think I have a booklet and I think you're, it wasn't the booklet, I think it was just individual pages. Okay. I'll look Ooh. in my records after quick because I have, I keep. You keep those? Here and at the church safe. Ah. I keep kind of the self But they used historian. to do a picture of On you. a certificate. On a certificate. Because yep. I have Somebody. One of those, I, think. I think it was Brandeis maybe. Yes. Perhaps. Yeah, and Kelsey did though for the first like year yeah. she was here. I feel like Jimmy has his. Could be. Yeah, and I've me seen, and Jimmy I've went seen, to membership yeah. class together, but Jimmy was also baptized the same day my sister was, I remember. Yeah. That. I hope know. we're allowed to just, I didn't ask permission prior Names? to this. No, like, we never do. You? Okay, thanks. Yeah. I'll probably can, text Casey after and say, hey, I, I brought you I probably up a will too. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> she's texting me how it's like every episode, so it's just <laughs> normal now. So, yeah, good good challenge for the week. That is yeah. a great one, because I think earlier I said I didn't actually write it down. Yeah. And specifically how God is in your story. And go listen to the song. It's a good song. Yeah. Shout out to you Katie Nicole. To song She's going to be on uh, pretty soon in the podcast. Katie Nicole. Nah, she won't. She won't listen to this. <laughs> Maybe if you yeah, write her. Sometime, hopefully, we can have a famous... Not that you're not famous. Or That's okay. That's dude. okay. Well, this is my five minutes of fame. <laughs> but it's... Uh, well, it's fine. But I really like to just say five yeah. minutes of fame. Five sounds good. Yeah. 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 So In the grand scheme of eternity... Five minutes. Ooh, statement. Uh, probably less. I mean, basically less. Yeah. yeah but. Okay. Uh, Marcy, you got a Bible verse for us? I do. And uh, where is it from? In Psalms. Psalm 91? Yes, it is. You want to know that uh, Psalm 91 is, I thought that was cool because when I was talking about my spiel earlier, that's one of the Psalms that Lila picked. Oh, really? On her podcast well, that she read through. Okay, so I do have to be honest. I have listened to it's okay. almost all of them, except wow. I've started. It's more than Chase. <laughs> I've started them, and then like I'll get distracted, mm-hmm. and then I'll I need to go back. That's fair. And uh, yes, I've I've had many conversations with other listeners where I'm like I started, wow. but I didn't. We have finish. a network. <laughs> you do. You do have network. Spider web. So I I oh and then I o- also fast forward. So like I listened to Lila. Just I'm don't not gonna remember fast forward 91. through the parts where Chase is talking about a new addition to their family and now think that they're pregnant. Yeah. I know people oh, who have that done happened. that. That happened. Yeah. That happened? Doug Sams. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. And I think we've brought it up in almost Nick every episode since then. Oh. Nick called him out huge. Like, we were kind of referencing, then Nick's like, uh, Doug Sims. <laughs> <laughs> you remember that? And, and that really? is hard. <laughs> yes. Like, I, I remember many times where even people would come up and say, so when are you and Nate going to have kids? <laughs> and, like, that is not helpful. Or, no. like, or like <laughs> even currently sometimes they're like, oh, wait till they're teenagers. Yeah. And I'm like, that's not Thank helpful you. either. Because... I have hope that yes, and you that work God with teenagers will, all the yes, time. It's yes. not that it's still the same. No, but, it's not the same. I mean, yeah. I mean, but you get a little bit of an insight I, into it. I see many teenager tendencies in my three-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, <laughs> there's a lot of spice. So we love her, but there's a lot of hey. spice. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I chose Psalms 91 for. Because for your sermon for the day. Yeah, uh, no, I'm not just giving me a sermon. You, just, read it to you us. just told me I had to read I it. Know. But I did wear the necklace. <laughs> mm. So years ago, I sold Premier Design Jewelries. The mm, company is yeah. no longer in business. And this was a necklace that I took when I went to Royal Family Kids Camp. So I thought that was mm. fitting to wear it. Since I told you it was so hard to decide yep. what to wear, I wanted to it this you five minutes of fame. Yep. I wanted it to be special. So. You need to get there first. I got okay, it. you're good. All right. So, and something else you're going to learn about me is reading aloud Bible verses is I crumble inside, but we <laughs> will do okay. All right. So, 91 4. He will cover you with his pinions. Pinions. And under his wings, you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and a buckler. So, I'm going to read it again now that I know that P word. Okay. Mm-hmm. He will cover you with. His pinions, right? Mm-hmm. Ha-ha. Yes. And under his wings, you will find refuge. His faith is a shield and buckler. Mm. I just love the part, and under his wings, you will find refuge. Mm. Because, yeah. yeah. It's so true. He is our safe place. Mm. It's true. It's good. We got 15 episodes down. We got... What is oh, your goal? Do you that? have a goal? You know, it was one. One was oh, our goal. One was your goal. One was our goal. So, when you set children, 
students low goals and you achieve them, then it makes you feel better. We've achieved our goal 15 times over. Yeah. Right. The cup runneth over. Now, Chase, you probably don't know about SLOs, but we have to do SLOs <laughs> uh-huh. as teachers, and we set target goals for our kids to reach mm. by Christmas, by May. Speaking of that, I need to do my finish we, my yeah. May, yeah, my December one, uh. and put it on the computer. But anyway, that's another day for another well, story. Are yours based on NWA? I was going to no? look up. We real do not quick. base ours oh, on yeah, NWA. Are, so we just finished. Um, what was that? Oh, well, Spotify is taking forever. I was going to look up real quick, like, uh, how many episodes of Joe Rogan there are. Oh, I think he's lie. near 2,000. Oh, yeah. So oh. that's not our goal. No, that's Our fine. goal that's is fine. to surpass him. Yeah. Really? That's easy. That's like Bailey, do you realize what you've just said? Yes. How many? Oh, you did 14. How many total last year? Because you're kind of the main year. steamroller. And he 17. does like five 17. episodes a week. He does five a week. Oh, we can do one every day. No problem. <laughs> oh, you'd have <laughs> yeah, to so, limit your time. And he does like four hours, doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Plus, he makes money. It's this full time doing it, so. Is it t- are we at two hours and eight minutes and fifth, now nine? I don't know. Well, um, what was that number? We, was just, I don't know. I don't know. Two hours, eight about minutes, no, no. Two hours really? ten minutes, I think. Yeah, Nate With was the... in charge of bedtime today, so I could stay all, all wow. forever. Unreal. Yeah. I might talk to your mom for a bit before I leave. I would. <laughs> Man. I won't. I'm just okay. kidding. <laughs> I was going to say earlier, I was thinking about when you're talking about the relationships and how, like, Part of uh, the last few weeks, like I felt as a first year teacher, sometimes you feel the moments of like failure, like are you teaching anything? Oh, and yes. um, both talking with Casey and Lila, ironically, uh, <laughs> helped with that. But, um, and Nathan, our great Call founder, <laughs> Nathan from New York. Yeah. Um, that uh, time we for, did. Time out for a second. Chase looked at his phone. Is he like on a time crunch? Do you have no, to go No, I, f- I felt I a vibration and I was making sure vibration. it wasn't an, an emergency. Yeah. She was asking what, if we wanted frozen pizza for supper. Oh, I'm going to repl- say? I'm gonna say yes yeah. after. <laughs> <laughs> you can say yes, man. <laughs> well, if it helps you, I texted Amanda about 15 minutes ago. I was like, hey, you can probably start making food now. Love exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so last Yes, because you're engaged, right? Or are yes. you married? You, not married, married. Not yet. yet. Not March yet. 18th. March 18th. Oh, that's a good time. I hope I'll pray for no snow. Yeah. Unless you well, need snow. Is that well, your goal? No, no, no. no. I, I don't mind what happens. This is an indoor wedding, too. But I, I just, you know, no blizzard would be great. Yeah, so people yeah. can get down to Sioux yeah. Falls for it and everything. Yeah. 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 And I have people flying in. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, back to where you're saying. So you okay, don't want to feel like. We just finished uh, NWA score testing oh. and stuff. And NWA. I felt like the students did really good. Um, and I feel like the biggest part of that is because I feel like one strength of mine is building relationships, which you were talking about, just yes. relationships on a yes. Christian side. Um, so I just thought that was kind of a neat thing, like how even in, you know, because trying to think of, you know, for me, like, is teaching what I want to do? Do I want to be like in more of a, you know, ministry type different thing? But, you know, you can bring that in. Oh, yeah. Uh, to, Absolutely. You know, and uh, so I thought that was cool. Yeah, just the relationships. I'm also glad I'm not about. the only one soul searching. Sometimes I think, mm-hmm. ah. Maybe I'd like to work at McDonald's or, oh, I could be a good barista or maybe a Walmart greeter. They don't have that position anymore, by the way. Mm-hmm. And then I'm like, well, maybe I'd like to. There is that my... person that still stands at the, I don't know what their job is, yeah, but it's, it's like a, the exit. They, yeah. Oh, yeah. They, like, maybe I'd like count, to be an exit maybe person. Maybe check that exit your person. self-checkout stuff is right. Yeah, there was like, one guy that actually looked at my receipt and stuff. Yeah, but... That's never happened to me. Costco mm-hmm. does it all the time, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. Yes. They're and short. Sam's Club is very strict, too. Yeah. Oh, sorry. We're kind of no, battling on Large department stores. Er. Nick would like that. He doesn't like Apple. No. Okay. <laughs> but he likes apples. Ooh. Probably bananas. Maybe. <laughs> Does he? I, I haven't I seen him buy a banana, so. Mm. Well, maybe I have. I don't know. All right. Well, great verse. <laughs> Thank yes. you. <laughs> um, anything else, pal? No. Okay. Marcy? I don't think so. Right. This is like my one, like, I better make sure I've gotten everything. <laughs> I know. It's kind of like me yeah. in Call to Worship. I'm, afterwards, I go and I'm like, man, I should have said this and that. And oh, yeah. yeah. I'll probably like re- yeah. be replaying yeah. this entire evening, and I'm like, oh, I could have said Bailey this. Bailey will for sure. Yeah. Or I could have said that. Or, uh, yeah. yeah. Every time you come down from Call to Worship, I'm like, he should have said this. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm he forgot kidding. this part. <laughs> Your Call to Worships are always very life-giving thank you just you like too. when i got married and i wanted all the details to be right nobody knew them but me that's yeah. probably the same thing with this Don't podcast yeah. I'm, I'm leading worship this sunday too and every time yes. i lead worship i always like critique myself afterwards because i'm like darn i could have yeah 
where the there could have been more smoke us. machines, yeah. more lasers, yeah. Yeah, banners flying. Around. <laughs> yeah, I could have propelled in from the ceiling. Yeah, yeah maybe repelled. we should ask Justin if Propel we could have that. Is a drink. <laughs> Maybe I'll text him when I'm finished. Um, I heard Noah say we need to wave flags. Yeah. <laughs> Please do. <laughs> oh, soup. man. Good soup. Hey, that was a fun. Yeah, I liked that it. was Thanks a fun. Thanks, for being on. You're welcome. Thank you for fun. having me. Yeah, it was good. Um, so that's it for today. Oh, should I do some call outs? Hold on. Before we leave, yes, I probably please. should call out to my family. Okay. Like yeah. I oh, didn't yeah. mention my kids' names. Yeah, I've never I didn't mentioned know... my sister and Yeah, like today, so maybe today birthday, I better like so. call them out so Let's that do like it. all right. So um I gotta think of something clever. Is this the camera that shows me? Because mm-hmm. I would like to point. Can I point? Is that okay? Or can yeah. I wave? You can do anything you want to do. Uh you well, can do anything you, within, within the confines. Within reason, yes, yeah. thank you. Kind of like when you tell your entire class you can do anything, can do but anything. do not do these yeah. things. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to shout out to Nate, Aaliyah, and Eleanor, and then my mom and dad, and all of the Hoffmans, and I think I, I got everyone. I already talked about yes. Casey and Jimmy, yeah. and I mean, there are lots of other people like Mel and Hillary. Like, there's like, I feel like I could go on and oh, on yeah. forever. I don't want to forget anyone. Sarah, she might listen to it. Yes. Mm. Um, trying to hey, re- Sarah. <laughs> trying to recruit others who might listen oh, to it. please. I'm trying to think. Do you think they'll make it this one? I don't Help know. get more followers. Yeah, come on. Like please. my friend Austin. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like I want to oh, make sure uh, I don't forget Evan. any. Evan, yes, Uncle Evan. Evan. Uncle Evan. Yes, we Don't can't forget, forget Uncle Evan. Evan. Wow. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, he lived in our basement for mm-hmm. a summer. Oh. He's Nate's good friend. Well, mm-hmm. he's our, now our, he he's pretty much family. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. All right, but That's the main great. people. That's a first. Lots of first today. Yeah. Never My had main people before. are Nate, Aaliyah, and Eleanor. Mm. Very good. I love it. Just yeah. don't want to forget them. No, never. Well, oh, that I should have shouted out to God. Is... <laughs> we better go. Good save, good save. <laughs> That's it for today. <laughs> Join us next time on the Pontification Pals podcast. And remember love, love Christ. Christ. Love Love others. others. Laugh Laugh lots. lots. Woo! Oh, that backwards. (laughs) Good pop. Good stuff. Good soup. Yeah. Did you finish your coffee? Yep, it's gone a long time ago. (laughs) Speaking of coffee. <laughs> I hope he got that on film. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes I did. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah.